back. As promised, I have returned. I hope everyone is having a wonderful morning and happy just because day. <laughs> happy just because day. And we have a lot of fun products on our carousel today, but if you didn't know, today is just because day, so make sure that you guys celebrate, do something fun, or eat something that you've always wanted to try, or check out some of these really cool items that we have on the carousel, just because it's one of those days where you, you get to celebrate a holiday while doing something that you love. And we have a lot of fun items on here for you, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. The first item that we have on our carousel is the KYY 15.6 inch 1080p FHD USB-C laptop monitor. And I actually was able to test out this monitor. I really love it. It's great for anyone who wants a second monitor, but what's great about it is the fact of how portable and lightweight it is, as well as it does come with a smart uh, scratch proof cover, cover that has different grooves into it so you can adjust the angle on it, as well as it only weighs 1.7 pounds which is amazing. It is Mac friendly, Windows friendly, as well as you can also use it for different gaming devices. And what I love is that you get a 15.6 inch screen, but without the expense of like having something that's heavy and bulky, as well as you get that 1920 by 1080p HDR technology and it has two built-in speakers so that's really nice at the fact that it also has its own speakers so if you're trying to use it for the sound quality good morning rover 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 thank you for coming over good morning how are you doing today rover how are you doing today justin Happy Just Because Day. I hope everyone is going to celebrate in their own silly way. <laughs> Yesterday was National Dog Day. So today I just decided to wear a cat on my head just because. But let me go ahead and show you the quality of the KYY 15.6 inch monitor so you guys can see for yourself how amazing it is. Here we have is the KYY 15.6 inch 1080p portable monitor. The packaging was really well done. It was completely plastic sealed as well as placed nicely in a box that featured all of its specifications. Being that it only weighs 1.7 pounds and is 0.3 inches slim, it was yeah, 1.7 pounds, which is it's just like the perfect size because you could easily put it in a standard backpack and still have a lot of extra room. Really lightweight and came with all the accessories I needed to get started. It came with a screen protector, a power adapter, as well as it had plastic wrapping around the portable monitor that was already encased in its magnetic cover. Just the way that they package this monitor alone is just makes for a perfect gift. Like if you know someone who's going to be starting school and this is definitely a must have because a lot of times in school you have to do group projects. Even in like college you have to do group projects. So having these type of things makes it so you can collaboratively work with other people as well as even if you're a business professional and you have meetings where you need to display information and you want to meet up at a coffee shop or somewhere um, where you're not like in a library type setting and you need extra devices. This is like the go to monitor. That's how I personally used it. Hello. I think sometimes. Good morning, so so happy just because day. Happy just because day. How is your morning going? Thank you guys for tuning in and hanging out with us today. But what I love about this monitor is the fact that it's it's honestly so perfect because if you want to use it for yourself as a second monitor, it's 
it's ideal for that but it's also being that it has literally everything you need to get started right out of the box it comes with a uh, cover protector it comes with a screen protector it comes with cables that you need to be able to use it on a mac or on a, a windows device which a lot of times it's hard to find things that are uh, cross platform compatible but this one is my thing says i got two notifications what's up <laughs> it's to remind you that don't forget to come in today <laughs> To be honest, uh, I, I, when I started the stream, I, I forgot to tick something off onto the Amazon. So I had to restart it. Rubber says, morning, bye, thanks. How are you guys doing today? As you can see, the magnetic cover fits it perfectly and is really easy to move, adjust, and fit the viewing preference that you are looking for. Ah, so good and tall, Eric. Eric says, hey, Aster, greetings from Germany. How are you doing, Eric? Thank you for taking time to hang out with us. How is uh, your day going? What are, you, what are you up to in Germany? Inside it, you have all the cables you need from the USB-C <laughs> to USB-A. Well, make sure you stay hydrated by things, okay? Make sure you stay hydrated. Cable, a USB-C to USB-C cable, a mini HDMI to HDMI cable and everything is just there so you can use it on a multitude of different devices. I mean look at this like this this shot alone in the video you can see all the different cables it comes with you can see it comes with the case protector and I really like the case protector it does come with it's not just like they they put time and thought into the case protector because they wanted something that was resilient having that p leather is also gonna help if water and things get on it it like wipes off of it so that's additional protection as well as it is scratch resistant and it has grooves so you can change the angle of your viewing on your monitor almost like a tablet which is just so handy to have and it has its own speakers and eric says we're doing great we have two more days so we bought some last things oh so exciting i'm so happy for you guys i think it's great to travel i've never been to germany but i definitely would love to visit sometime you'll have to give me some tips <laughs> devices having all of these output cables really allows you to maximize how you use this monitor you can decide if you want to use it and what's nice too is i'm going to skip a little bit further through and this is me using it as a, another monitor for my pc but this is just as an example what's really nice is that you could not only just use it on a mac or windows but it, you can also use it with gaming devices like the nintendo switch xbox one ps four um and it's still compatible and this is the audio coming directly from the monitor itself I mean, the audio quality is really crisp, which was even more amazing because the time that they put into not just designing the accessories, making the graphics great, but they also made sure to put a really great audio chip in there. So the sound that it's producing is really crisp and clear. And the next item that we have on our carousel is the in osin ultra wide monitor it is 40 inches this is the wkhd uh 30 3440 by 1440p um 144 hz monitor and it looks amazing like 40 inch monitor that is insane like can you imagine using this for gaming experience like it has a 21 by 9 ratio so it just immerses the user into the game because you're like completely immersed in there as well as it's great because then 
If you do have another monitor, you get even more screen space and ability to move things around on your screen, have multiple windows open on a single device without having to move everything to a second monitor. James here, and today we're taking a quick look at a new product, guys. This is from Innocent. This is their new monitor. This is a 40C1R model number, guys. This is a 40-inch ultra-wide screen monitor. This is a 21 to 9 contrast ratio, guys, which is really, really cool. Now, it is a 12,001. Look how crisp calorie. that is. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness, I just, I love how wide the screen is. I just, I could see myself being able to use it for having so many windows open because for me, I use tri monitors and I'm basically, two of my monitors would equal one of those. Ratio contrast, which is the coloration. Now the 21 to nine is the actual, the dimension ratio, which is very, very cool. Really, really wide guys. Now. This is actually an HDR. This is 500 nits brightness, which is just amazing. This does have AMD FreeSync. This is, a, you know, this monitor can actually do split screen. So if you use one of the two HDMI ports or the USB-C or the display port. That is so handy. The fact that you could do a split screen and use two different types of devices to project something on there. It's almost like similar to when you open up a PowerPoint and when you can have like open up a presentation and have also the kind of editor mode up. It allows you in a sense to be able to do that, but with other devices, which can be really handy. Uh, Rover says saw on YouTube a bendable 45 inch monitor. Woo! That's amazing. That's kind of like incorporating the those uh, the technology that goes into those phones. They have Android phones that can actually be folded. Is it similar to that? Blake, Blake is here. Good morning. Good morning, Blake. Happy just because day. Happy just because day. I hope you guys are celebrating in a just because kind of way. You can divide this monitor in half. Now I have the Nintendo Switch hooked up just for you know showing base, you know, to show you guys this <laughs> right now. Now the cool thing is I'm gonna show you guys a couple things. On its base, guys, and I'm gonna move some stuff around so we can show you. Like says I just woke up. Well, maybe you can have a, a wonderful breakfast just because. Nice cat. Oh. <laughs> I was like, who's Ice Cat? I don't know who Ice Cat is. Maybe it looks like a character named Ice Cat. Nice cat. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Well, yesterday was National Dog Day, so I decided to wear a, a cat on my head just because. Rover says, same here, Blake. Heating up the coffee. Yeah, waking up. A bright, new, shiny day. You can swivel it in multiple directions, right? Not just that way, but you can swivel it and angle it that way. Or you can raise it. It Look works. how cool that is. You can swivel it. You can change the angle and the height. That is so awesome. For me, my monitors are just on a mount. So the ability to be able to raise it and lower it and swivel it would definitely be so handy to have. And Blake says, uh, GM Rover, I'm rolling my coffee right now. Oh. <laughs> All right. Now I have it down low on purpose. And I have it angled at you for a reason. We do have the Switch hooked up. We have some Mario hooked up, right? Which is Ooh. cool. I'm just gonna pop up, you know, just click through to kind of show you guys some of this. Now, like I said, it I does mean, have- Showing a game is, is a, such a great demo because if it's able to handle the graphics of a game, especially Nintendo uh, Switch, you can tell that even if you had other things like a movie or a video game like I play World of Warcraft so something that has like a lot of power going into it with this monitor you'll be able to capture those crisp details and really be able to enjoy the game aesthetics which is definitely a huge piece but also for watching videos and doing editing photography type of edits being able to see those pixels and things like that is definitely essential Dragon says morning all good morning Justin two HDMI ports, one display port, and then you have multiple other pieces. Now, you could use a Visa mount to hang this on the wall, guys, but it will need to be 100 by 100 and support at least 30 pounds. 
So just remember that, guys. Now, I'm not sure why all this I like the fact that you could mount it so if you wanted to free up desk space and you wanted to maybe use it um, even as some like a kind of like ha have it up on the wall in a way that you can be able to see it. Sometimes people like to have monitors also above their other monitors. So being able to mount it is definitely a great point. And being that it weighs 30 pounds, most mounts will be able to support that. Blake! Blake putting all the emojis. He's excited just because. Because it's just because day. All this stuff is just showing me all this, right? Because probably haven't played in a while. But we're trying to show you guys some colorations. That coloration is just amazing. Super now, crisp. For such a big monitor. I'm going to skip a little bit forward, but you so can see a little bit more gameplay and how awesome this monitor is at capturing that quality and resolution. Hey, you guys can watch this, guys. This is just a beautifully done monitor. Now, I cannot wait to hook this monitor up. Guys, the Innocent, you know, this Innocent monitor is just beautiful. Now, it is a flat screen, so remember, guys, it's not curved. It is a flat screen. It does have 144 uh, refresh rate and now it is a, mo a model number 40 c one r it is mountable with the v the visa 100 by 100 so remember that guys you will need a big mount big mount <laughs> but will it be worth it yes it will because of the fact that you can do split screen you can mount it you can use it for gaming you can use it for um work and be able to get that full screen uh, benefits without the expense of like losing that resolution because sometimes when you go bigger screen uh, some screens if they're don't have the same quality can be pixelated but this one it does not have those issues at all and the next item that we have on our carousel is the N NNOCN 15.6 inch OLED portable monitor. So this is another portable monitor. I love portable monitors because of the fact that they're not bulky, they're lightweight. This one is 15.6 inches full HD um, self-lit OLED. And so with that, you're gonna get a great color output. It does have a DCI-P3 color gamut and a really amazing color ratio so let's take a closer look so you can see that quality for yourself james here today we're taking a quick look james. at new color guys this is from nlcm this is their 15.6 inch portable monitor now this is an oled this is a thousand or a hundred thousand to one contrast ratio guys it does do one millisecond um plus 60 hertz guys it's going to be super bright nice and colorful at a 1080p at a for me, I love the fact that it can get that bright because even when I play video games, a lot of times I have to turn up the brightness, especially in WoW, uh, because like I won't be able to see like the ground sometimes. <laughs> it's too dark, like especially in like caverns and different types of cave settings. So I love the fact that this particular monitor allows it to get that bright as 400 um knits brightness so definitely a lot of room for adjustment there to make it brighter to fit your needs as well as making it having that brightness allows it to be more vivid and create that contrast ratio that just looks to me i just love it when a tablet is well illuminated and because you can really see the details and the, the attention to the vibrant colors and things that are in the programs that we're looking at hundred thousand to one contrast ratio which is great now the 60 hertz is also great now guys inside here you have the 15.6 inch monitor plus the cords plus i believe uh, actual monitor stand slash carrying case i'm going to show you guys that now it will have the mini hdmi cable to hdmi and it should have the usb-c or usb to usb-c so let's pop it open and kind of give you guys your first look and as you guys see we have this first box that we're greeted with and we'll pop this open and see what we get in the first box now of course we're gonna have to fight this slightly and it does have a usb-c um 
cable too. So the nice thing about using a USB-C cable is the fact that it's gonna charge more efficiently. And with that, it's gonna charge quickly, but also be able to power your device and fill up that battery. So it's good to go for its next use. Cables. like that so let me show you guys this so here's the back side hopefully you guys can see this you fold this up just like this just like this you actually pull this around and it actually folds and flaps down and this one only weighs 1.6 pounds so it's really lightweight as well as it does have an ultra slim design of 0.27 inches so really really thin let's do this backwards that's a little tricky guys i just had this but i don't want to break this so you can actually kind that's of that's pretty it cool it looks like it, it folds the the case itself folds similar to like a paper plane so that way you can create a back surface to keep support the monitor similar to like a picture frame alley cat good morning good morning alley cat how are you doing today happy just because day And Alika says, doing well, thank you. I'm so happy that you're here this morning. And I'm glad to hear that you're doing well. Today's just because day, so thank you for hanging out with us. Just because. And as you can see with this monitor, it has such great quality. If you look at the imaging, it's like, whoa. It, it looks really crisp and clear. But the best part is the fact that you can easily pair it with a smartphone, a Nintendo Switch, an Xbox, PS5, um, a PC, digital cameras. It's definitely plug and play ready. So it just is really compatible with a lot of devices. And the nice thing about having a portable monitor is you can use it for school. You can use it for work. You can use it to give yourself an extra monitor, but also be able to... Uh, collaboratively work with other people and be able to show things on the device without having to pass your laptop around. Tanya, hey hun, good morning, Tanya. Good morning, Tanya, how are you doing? Happy just because day. There's a cat on my head, just because. Margaret, dragon, Margaret, good morning. How are you doing, Margaret? Allie Cat says, hey, Margaret. Tanya's waving. Margaret, hey, Allie and Tanya. Allie Cat says, love the cat. <laughs> Thank you. I had to. I was like, for just because they, I, it's like there's a couple of options, but I was like, I was sold. This was, this was the chosen filter. I love Ginger Kitties. Me too. I mean, hello, you know, Garfield fan over here. Garfield fan. Look how clear that is and easily like playing a video game and being able to being able to uh, to see all that great quality on the gameplay shows that it's able to keep up with a video game, which video games use up a lot of power. And uh, being able to to be able to play the game and um, handle that power is amazing because of the fact that it's able to handle all the processing while still maintaining the graphics and things like that. So this is definitely a great portable monitor and the fact that it comes with the cables that you need and the case is really, really handy. And let's see. Oh, Tanya says, hey, dragon. Margaret says, morning, Justin. Tanya says, it's too cute. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate you. 
<laughs> Dragon says my son has an orange tabby, as does Nate. What? Well, that that's the perfect filter. Then I'm glad. I'm glad I chose. I chose the that filter. Ali says my next cat will be a ginger for sure. For sure. What would you name it? And the next item that we have on our carousel is the AirTalk vacuum sealer. And it is cordless and rechargeable. I actually had the pleasure of being able to test out this cordless vacuum sealer. And what I like is the fact that not only is it portable, but the fact that you can charge it means that it's really easy to use whether you're using it on a table or a counter and not having to worry about outlets is definitely great. It makes it more convenient if you're in the middle of cooking or have things on the counter as well as it can be used 50 times on a single charge which is really impressive that it can maintain that battery life as well as what's nice about using a food sealer is it keeps your food fresh eight times longer so if you're someone who likes to um put things in the freezer and store it it's great because you're not going to have as much food waste but using a vacuum sealer is a great way to do that because you're going to maintain that freshness longer and dragon says when i was a kid we had an orange persian cat named caesar he was a beautiful cat whoa that sounds like he sounds like a beautiful cat and royal ali says i don't know my cat uh, that passed away was Garfield. I might use the same name. Oh, Garfield Jr. Oh, I'm sorry for your loss, though. I My cat that I had for over 14 years passed away when, like, in 2013. So I know the feeling. He was gray. He was a gray tabby. This is the Airverse vacuum sealer. It comes with 10 pieces of vacuum seal bags, a cutter, dry and wet tubes, as well as a USB charging cable. The vacuum sealer itself is cordless, USB rechargeable, and compact in size. And Rover says that would be good for filament storage if the bags are big enough. Oh, that's a great suggestion. Um, the vacuum bags are eight by 12 inches. And what's really nice about this particular vacuum sealer is you don't need to use just their brands bags it comes with 10 from air talk but they made it so it is compatible with other brands as long as it fits the 280 millimeter dimensions then it would be compatible with this and what's really nice is the fact that it's easy to carry but it does come with five adjustable modes so it has dry wet vac seal only seal inch external and vac and what's great about that is the fact that you can use the inching setting. So if you didn't want to remove as much air, you can um, choose your preference. It's great for if you want to preserve meats, like if you buy, go to the butcher and or you want to buy like a, sometimes you can buy meat less like more or less expensive if you buy it in bulk, but you don't want to use it all at once being able to put them in like one pound per like bag is a great way to save money because you can still buy in bulk but then keep your food fresh as well as it does have a tube that comes with it so if you have tupperware and containers that have a, a tube you can actually use that tube to remove air from tupperware containers so it's not just limited to bags if you wanted to use it for containers as well if your container has the little port to remove the air you can uh, put it in there and it will remove the air from the tupper as well uh ali says thank you uh it's like losing a family member i actually cried more when i lose a cat oh yeah it was rough for me too Needless to say, I've yet to get another cat because Toby is in my heart forever. And, um, dragons just love our pets. Yes, we do. They're the part of our life story. I know. That is so true. Me too. Me too. 
Blake says not uh, to be dinner in my cat uh, last night in 2014, and I have never been able to get another pet since. Oh my goodness. It's like we have the same story. Yeah, my, my cat passed away in 2014, and I've yet to get another cat. I have two dogs. Um, so I've had other species animals, but I have yet... I grew up with cats. So if that says anything... <laughs> Allie says, I will give one the next days. Cats make me happy. They do. They're so sweet. Honestly, I love animals. I think animals get us. They understand our spirit, you know. We, we as people, we're not, no one is perfect. But animals make us feel like, you know, we're, we're, the, you know, we're special, which is really sweet. But I do love this vacuum sealer. I, I definitely recommend it, especially if you're wanting to help preserve your food in a more efficient way than just using Ziploc bags because of the fact that it does last eight times longer and can go 50 times on a single charge. And the next item that we have on our carousel is a GVM light panels. And I love that with these lights, you can choose from a, an array of different colors. It does have those RGB settings. It also has the ability to adjust the brightness. And with its 50 watts, it provides some high power in there. So it's consistent with that, which is perfect for photography and, uh, you know, whether you want to use it for a studio, it would be great for that. Or streaming, like right now, having extra lights would be awesome. Or just having in the in a house for like if you're having a party because you can adjust those lighting colors. Having lighting can definitely create a different ambiance of where you are. You know, if you go to some restaurants, of course, they use warm lighting because they're trying to create a romantic atmosphere. But with lighting, it can definitely help hype up a party, too. So if you're throwing a get together, changing the lights can also change the atmosphere without having to worry about as many decorations. It allows for a lot of room for for how you want to use it. It does have uh, the power cables and adapter diffuser. And what's really nice is that it is foldable. So if you are someone who is a photographer and you want that extra lighting, you can easily fold it, put it in its carrying bag that comes with it, and you're good to go. Jeremiah, good morning, Jeremiah. Happy Just Because Day. I hope you're having a beautiful Just Because Day and or having a beautiful day just because. <laughs> how are you doing? How are you doing? And Blake says, I still have the ability to pet my friends. Got yes, they're so sweet. They need all the rubs. Allie says, I grew up with dogs. My parents would let me get a wouldn't let me get a cat. Oh, were they allergic, Allie? Rover says, morning, Jeremiah. Jeremiah Dragon says, morning, Jeremiah. Jeremiah says, good morning, guys. We're happy you're here. Right now, we are looking at the GVM light panel. So you came in at the perfect time. RGB. I am. Look at that. It comes in its case. Let's make sure we don't dump everything out. We didn't. Right here is three tripods. So it comes with every tripod you need. And Dragon says, yeah, this light panel kit is incredible. What's your favorite thing about it, Justin? And for you guys, what do you guys look for when you're thinking about lighting? Because for me, I definitely uh, I'm looking into lights. I was speaking with Justin about lights and things like that. So what do you guys look for when you're looking for lights? What is something that is is a must have or something that is a big plus for you? And each one has a nice long cord. So you'll probably have over 10 feet of cord. Easy. Make sure you, you have three prongs with the ground for do, using this. We only need one out. And then we have two more. Nice full kit. Everything is compatible and keeps put away very well. 
Look at that. I love the fact that they thought about how it was packed and how you're able to keep everything organized really well. And Alice says, my dad never uh, did like them. No, he loves my diamond kitty. People change. That's true. I'll, I mean, honestly, my dad's the same way. Um, we have dogs and everything. And I, my dad's one of those dads, like the stereotypical ones that don't get that pet. And then he, I get a pet and then he falls in love. <laughs> dads are just that's just like a i feel like a default characteristic <laughs> no pets okay i love your pet dragon says the thing uh synchronization and app control Ooh, that's a great that's a great point yeah with this one it does have an app and which allows you to adjust it so i can definitely see that being a big plus and most like panels don't have rgb are only uh 3000k to 6000k yellow white that's true that's true. With this one, you do get the benefit of the RGB. And the best part, too, is the fact that you can use an app to easily go through the different colors and pick the preference that best fits you. GVM is super high quality company for photography equipment, which it, honestly, you can see it because of the fact that they're making it portable, especially when you're considering photographers don't just always work in a studio if they're doing wedding photography which is definitely one of the big um genres of photography they need to be able to go to sets and be able to go off location and those type of things ali says my dad used uh his labs to duck oh you know i have two german short hair pointers so they are bird dogs, <laughs> but they're not very, I, I don't, I don't hunt. So they, they have no skills in that sense, but they are pointers. So they, I, I understand what the, my one is, has a huge prey drive in the sense that he, he loves like playing fetch. That's his bird. <laughs> As I fumble along, we'll set this beside, behind me. So we have our charging brick. Then we have our tripod. Tripod comes in plastic. You don't need the plastic because it comes in another carrying. Ali says, I bet they are pretty. They are. He, uh, Bruno was a ham, straight up ham. He knows it. And he makes like this sleepy face when he sees me because he knows I'm going to cuddle him if he does that face. And Piper is beautiful. She has a very alert face. Like she's like has a good face that she's super intelligent and focused. And she knows how to keep eye contact really well. I like dogs too. I just I don't want to have a uh, to house train. That's true. That's true. I can understand that. We have do a doggy door, so that's definitely been a life changer. <laughs> In case with their logo marked, very nice. Love it. How it's very well marked and you know. They're all and I'm gonna move a little bit forward so you guys can see it. It's quality. This is master. So if we turn it up, we can adjust the hues and colors. I mean, how amazing is that? Not only can you adjust that brightness, but you can adjust the hue. So the way the color is emitting on the outside through the knob. It's a little something we'll get into in a second. And then, you know, again, app. That is your phone control. Uh, the app is something I'll do in a different video. I'm just pretty much showing off this light. We're now going to flip this around. Let there the be light. Just like this, just like that. You know, if you want that in there, or you can take the plastic shielding out. That is so cool. It has the plastic shielding there, so you can also kind of change the direction in which the light is emitting. Similar to like a flashlight, um, you know, if a flashlight ha were to have a funnel over it, it would be able to direct the light in one direction whereas if it doesn't have a shield like most flashlights don't it's gonna emit more in a broader spectrum so um being able to have that shielding is really great because you can choose the direction at which it's pointing um especially if you're doing photography maybe you want the light to cast a little bit more on the face or on a, a product or things like that it's really nice to be able to have those adjustments as well as they are removable. So if you did not want to have it on there, you can easily pull them off when you need to. <laughs> <Dragon>. <laughs> oh. 
just as the only duck hunting I did was Nintendo duck hunt. The only duck hunting that I've ever done was in Wagon's Trail, the computer game. <laughs> or the no, Oregon Trail. Not Wagon Trail, Oregon Trail. Anyone here play Oregon Trail? It was the only computer game. <laughs> Which is kind of cool if you can <sighs> slide it out properly, just like that. And gives you the full beads. This is your bead pattern. I kind of like the plastic. Justin says our control, yes. Our control was great. It was. I mean, I I I remember playing it because I was like, oh, this is on the computer. And this is when I lived overseas too. You guys can see we're going into oranges. Reds. Hopefully you guys see this. Look at the Pink. beautiful color. How vibrant. Purple. I love that. Blues. You get the full RGB effect. Ultra light blue, you know. We're still going with hues. We're still in other hues. All the yeah, different hues. Definitely has a huge array of different settings. It's not just blue, it's not just purple. It's like you get those different hues of blue, those different hues of purple. And with that, you get a really nice like transition of colors, which is beautiful. Perfect for honestly a party, for photography, for streaming, and just keeping anything well illuminated with customization features. Ali says, I used to go with my dad and brother. I have played uh, Duck Hunt and Oregon Trail. So, <laughs> all the nostalgia. I love playing Oregon Trail at school. <laughs> Me too. I was at Oregon Trail was at school. There was also anyone here play Kids Picks? Kids Picks uh, was like paint, but like for kids. It was like the paint program, but it had a lot of special effect paintbrushes. Whoever says little fact poodles uh, bred and as hunting dogs, what country did they come from? Ooh, uh, hmm, I'm a guessing Germany. Dragon says the only reason to use an apple t uh, <laughs> at the time. I <laughs> know. So true. Cat specs. Ali says we have to be close uh, in age, just in England. Dragon says, you have Oregon Trail at school. That uh, puts us uh, uh, very close in age. You know what? Um, in the country that I lived in and I grew up, that's actually where I played Oregon Trail too was because it was on the computer. Because <laughs> you know? my mom uh, is a teacher. So she was also a teacher when, when we lived overseas. And so... Uh, that when she's in her classroom and stuff, I would be like trying to keep myself entertained. And Oregon Trail was on there. Kids Picks was on there. Rover says Australia got it. Germany, yay! I got it. Um, I mean, I'm, both my dogs are German short hair pointers, so I know that their their breed are derived from Germany, <laughs> and they are a hunting breed. So I went with that because I feel like um. Sometimes when like so the origin of like hobbies and things and whatever I figured it might be Germany. <laughs> Plus I, I know a lot about dogs. I, I love watching uh dogs one on one. If anyone in here likes to watch like little short informative clips, there's a really great series by Animal Planet called Dogs One O One and I've like watched almost all of <laughs> as many as I could. Rover says German or uh, poodle or poodlein, which means to splash in the water. Wow, I didn't know. I didn't know the um, the name meaning though in in German. So thank you. I learned something new today. Thanks to you, Rover. And the next item that we have on our carousel is the GoTrax GLX V2 scooter. It is an electric scooter, 8.5 inches of pneumatic tires. It has a max tile range, uh, a 12 mile tire, <laughs> tongue twister, a max 12 mile range and goes 15.5 miles per hour. Which is amazing because you can go and take care of errands as well as it'd be great for having some fun without having to use the car. 
And it is electric, so you don't have to worry about gas. It does have a 250 watt motor, so it definitely uh, consumes less power with that type of motor. So that means the battery is going to last even longer and it can handle up to 220 pounds. And Dragon, uh, yeah, neither did I. Ali says, we need dogs or hunters also. Uh, that was my first dog. She loves to chase squirrels and, and bark for hours in the woods. Actually, that's true, yeah. We need dogs, uh, dash hounds, and also, I guess we need dogs, our dash hounds, as well as Jack Russells and corgis. Corgis are bird, I mean, not bird, sorry, uh, rabbit hunting. Because they're small size, having the smaller size allows them to get into burrows. Uh, just not their bodies designed to go into the gopher holes? Exactly, the prairie dog holes. Yes, yes, yes. And the robots. Ali says, yes, they are so funny when they run. <laughs> My sister has a Jack Russell, so I, I totally get that. Dragon says, boss and terriers are small game dogs, too. <laughs> Has all the doggos man we we needed these dog facts yesterday yesterday was national dog day everything before they were bred down to non-sporting breed that's true that's true over the years then they become more docile and they lose that prey drive it says max speed uh with the proper weight restriction um yeah the with the weight restriction it is 200 um let me see. Do, 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 do. 220 pounds. So it has a weight restriction of 220 pounds. Hey everyone, Jason Weiler here. Jason! And today we're going to be checking out the GoTrax Rival electric scooter. This is an excellent option to consider if you are looking for something that is smaller, more portable, that like no worries, no worries, two twenty. I'm a bit big. Mm -hmm. That's okay. I mean, there's other scooters too. So if this scooter isn't uh, the right one for you, that's okay. There's other ones on the market too, as well as this could still always be considered a gift, you know, for a birthday or holidays. It's definitely something to consider. I know when I was younger, I also had a electric scooter and it kept me really busy because I enjoyed driving around the neighborhood being that I was not, I didn't have a driver's license. I was younger. My parents wanted me to be doing something, you know, not just being in the house all day. Having a scooter is also great because it gets you out of the house while still having fun. And one, I mean, it's probably not recommended, but my sister and I would try to both dual stand, you know, be on the scooter. Because <laughs> the one I had had a seat, so one would sit, one would, like, try to stand. So I would recommend that, but having a scooter definitely keeps you busy and having fun. So it does make for a great gift. It takes about three to four hours to fully charge when you first get it. Definitely make sure to charge it up to full battery before taking it up. It won't take that long. It also has disc brakes for their safety system. The eight and a half inch airflow. And Rover says uh, 135 max, only 10 more from high school weight. I mean, yeah, I for for me, you know, when I was using the scooter too, I was early high school or middle school. So it's definitely a fun toy to use but dragon is even saying that um they do make them larger so he said he just got an e-bike for 300 pound limit and going to test it he's going to test it himself and the nuk q13 can do 260 limit as an electric scooter that's pretty that's really good that is a one nate reviewed and is about 220 Use it all the time to take into town and back home at least a few times a week. I mean, it's a great way because if you don't want to, um, you waste gas for somewhere that's closer by, 
but you're also it's maybe not in the you're not feeling like walking there because of the time factor having a scooter definitely saves you a lot of time as well as it's i feel like it's also safe to use because if it if you're where you live allows you to use the sidewalks on your scooter it's also safer because you're not on the road like mopeds are nice but you have to be on the road with them so how, if if you're, where you live allows them on the sidewalks then it's kind of nice to have that ability to be safer too Ellie says, I wish I could make my power chair go faster. It's too slow. Any suggestions? Is there a, a governor on it? Don't know if I spelled it right. Oh, that's a great question. I, I'm not sure. I have no idea. But I'm sure there is a way to probably like some uh, different ways, things you can add. Rover says, larger voltage batteries. Oh, that's true. Upgrade the battery. That's a great suggestion. But I think scooters are great. And then with this one, it also folds. So it when you're not using it, you can easily put it away, which is perfect. I know like like university campuses when I was going to school, it's such a large campus from getting to class. I would see people using scooters, too, which is such a great way to get around on campus. So it's not just for, you know, kids having a scooter is great for being able to go run errands as well as get from class to class on campus safely and efficiently without being exhausted by the time you get to class. Like for me, it was always the case, like one class would be on one side of campus and the other would be all completely on the other side. And that was like the days where I constantly wished I had teleportation capabilities. I'd always wish, just like, man, if I had a superpower, if only, if only. And um, Alex says, I used it for transportation. That's perfect. Blake says, save so much uh, walking. Exactly. For sure. It definitely helps to be able to save you energy because I know with me when I was going to school, um, you're not just going from class to class. You're also carrying your books and, and things like that and laptops and things. It gets heavy walking across campus every day, especially in Silver Moon City. It gets very hot. Ali says, I can only walk about a block or two on my crutches before my hip starts hurting exactly too having a, a scooter is great because it's gonna allow you to get out and about and enjoy the, and do what you need to do without um putting that strain on your hips like says but it was a bit small a uh, hard uh plastic wheels i didn't i need a bigger scooter like designed for a piece for tonight, I assume it will have inflated tires and bigger, longer, faster battery. Probably, yeah. I mean, whatever fits the weight capacity on the device is definitely the way to go. So that way, you're going to get something that's going to last and be able to provide you for your needs. Definitely. But in the, at the end of the day, having a scooter, no matter like the which one it is, is definitely handy to have. Rover says, my mom, uh, my roommate uses a mobility scooter. I keep it maintained. Oh, so you got that background. So Rover is a pers perfect person to ask then because he also works on the mobility scooters. Ali says, I love that my tires don't need air. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I mean, because then you have to worry about when you're driving over things and possibly getting leaks and things like that along the way. Dragon says, yeah, having tires that don't require inflation or risk of getting punctured and deflating is always good. For sure, especially if you're out and about. Oh my goodness. And this, speaking of fun Mo like toys like the scooter this is an actual hoverboard made by evercross 
Hey, what is going on, guys? My name is Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the EV5 hoverboard by Evercross. The Evercross EV5 hoverboard is an absolute machine of a board with a 265 pound weight limit and awesome carbon fiber design. I think this thing is going to be awesome. It has Beautiful. these really slick off road tires that will get you through grass, rocks, and everything else. So, let's go ahead and jump in and check out everything the Evercross has to offer. Right out of the gate, you're going to notice right here on top, you have these very nice little foot rest areas where you're going. That's so nice that it has a foot rest area. So that way it's going to provide a little bit more traction uh, for your shoes. So it's going to help with creating resistance so you don't slip off as easily, which is definitely a great safety feature. I'm going to actually be riding. It's got this nice rubber texture for ease of use and it also has these awesome handles so you can carry this thing around and get it where you want it to go. The power switch and the charging cord are conveniently located on the bottom here. And also here on the front, you're going to have these lights that are going to indicate when the machine is on. And also they're going to indicate when there is pressure applied to the pads. So it won't just. Ooh, and I like that it also has the lighting on there. So as you saw, Nate pressed down on there and then turned blue. So you do have light indicators as well. And with this one, you can, it has a brushless motor, which is great because first of all, that's going to produce less sound. But as well as it can go up to a speed of 9.32 miles an hour with a range up to 9.32 miles. Just roll off by itself. It's waiting for that weight to be distributed on the board in order for you to go. And the EV5 also has compatibility with the Evercross app, which has a lot of features. So let's go ahead and I mean, how cool is that? It also has its own app on there. So that way you can customize your writing experience um, as well as adjust the sensitivity. So that way, if you want it to, to be more sensitive or less sensitive, you can use the app to adjust it to your preference. Ali says, oh, um, Al, I like the concept also, but they are small on my unit and made it a bit difficult to navigate. Uh, in the grass. Oh, I can see that. I can see that. Um, with this one, with having a hoverboard, um, you know, the nice thing about a hoverboard too is the fact that they're very compact in size. Um, it does have a 8.5 inch solid rubber tires. So we were speaking about tires earlier. Having those rubber tires is nice because of the fact that it's going to help absorb the shock and create a comfortable riding experience. Talk about that now. As you. I mean, you can play music from this hoverboard. How cool. That's just amazing. What a great concept. I love the fact that you're not having to wear headphones because when you wear headphones, a lot of headphones are not open ear. Some are, but a lot of them are not. And when you don't have your hearing, um, you know, like open, you're, you might miss things when you're like on the street, such as people, cars, you know, those type of things. Being able to enjoy your music on the go is really, really cool that you can be listening to it through the hoverboard so you're not covering your ears. And so as you guys can see right there, it actually does have a really decent sound quality, which is a cool feature. One thing's left, let's go ahead and try to ride this thing. So simply all you have to do to get this Testing thing- Testing time, let's see. Nate's about to, to go riding on the hoverboard. Up and going, you just push the power button. It'll do a little quick start. Has anyone here ever ridden a hoverboard before? I I personally have not, but I've definitely been curious. I've used electric scooters, um, but I have not done hoverboard. I don't like, I, I want to see how well he does. Because for me, I, I wonder if I have enough coordination. <laughs> I feel like I'm a zoom zoom to the 9.32 miles. Start up cycle and you're ready to go. A little now, bit I'm not too the quickly. This, let's go ahead and give this a try. <laughs> So I weigh about 215 pounds and this thing has no problem towing me around. So I definitely think, you know, anybody up to 265 pounds, you're going to have a lot of fun with this machine. As you can see here, I'm not really going too fast, but it does have a nice tight turn radius, which is a cool feature if you're trying to do some tricks or just make it look really. 
But with this hoverboard, he's doing an amazing job writing it. I'm impressed. I am very impressed. For me, I feel like my first time demoing it, I would probably go like 9.2, 9.32 off the get go. <laughs> but as you can see, I mean, he's getting on, he's able to be balanced as well as by applying different pressure, he can change the direction at which it's going or go into a circle to, to switch paths. But what's really nice about this hoverboard is it having those 8.5 inch wheels does allow you to have off-road type of capabilities but more in general it's going to help provide a smoother riding experience for you which is definitely a must-have if you know you're growing further away um, or into different types of like if they're you know older roads and things a little bit more bumpy really cool and like i said i am not the best and that's why i fell off going about 0 0.02 miles per hour and you can see here you can do pretty tight little cool circles so that's a pretty cool little feature and let's do some more circles and i might fly off here well actually no we're good let's go ahead and take it out he maintained go he maintained that balance Keyword look at him go like I, said, I mean I look at look at the road the nice thing is that um we're able to see that he is on a road that has some cracks and dents and things like that and he's we'll, we'll be able to see for ourselves how well does it get go over this type of road This road now this road is pretty rough and this has no problems going over this tough terrain and as you can see there i fell off again and we'll try to go forward again and going 0.2 miles an hour i will fall off again but regardless <laughs> that would be me but he, he did he fell with grace and Let's see. I had to refresh my chat because for some reason it wasn't refreshing. <laughs> but Jackson says, yeah, it, it just built in. Alex says, I'm going to mess with it. I think I'm going to look into buying something else. And I mean, I think it's good to test different things because really there's so many amazing products out there that sometimes you just have to experiment to see which one works best for you. Rover says, no, skateboards, I've uh, tried it and have fallen off. I try skateboarding too. I just didn't have the coordination. But I feel like with the hoverboard, the nice thing is the fact that you're not really propelling yourself per se. The device is propelling. So I wonder if my experience would be different. I would definitely wear a helmet and pad, knee pads though. <laughs> I would definitely wear gear. I'd be like the one person who's like riding around the neighborhood, like full, full padded and geared up. Like, whoa, she's serious. She's a she's a professional uh, hoverboard rider. <laughs> I'll get a, a Dragon Vloggers decal on my helmet. Product in test, student driver. <laughs> Go, get out the way, get out the way. Um, Ali says, I'm sure he practiced before writing himself. That's true. That's good. I mean, yeah, I probably would practice before recording because I'd be like, oh, but, you know, it'd be fun too to like do a GoPro series like while you're using this hoverboard, like the adventures of the hoverboard rider, Aster the hoverboarder. Margaret says, I have a hoverboard cart with seat attachments. Ooh, that's pretty cool. A little true alley cat. Margaret says, I always wanted to try one of these. Me too. I've really wanted to try one. Also, those like, um, what are they called? I forget what they're called. Like the ones that actually have the handles. And Margaret says, morning, Rover. Dragon says, hello, I have a student driver too right now. <laughs> you gotta get him the helmet. Student driver. Student driver. And... The next item that we have on our carousel, speaking of fun toys, wow, we have a lot of fun toys on the carousel today. This is the Holy Stone H HS700E 4K UHD drone. And I love Holy Stone. Holy Stone does a great job with their drones. I have one of their drones. I have a different model. But one thing that's nice is the quality that they put into their cameras as well as a user friendliness that goes into it um you know they're geared towards making it so you can take off easily this one also has a brushless motor so it's gonna run 
like have a powerful running quality but also it's not going to be super loud which is really nice you're not going to get that loud noise that is being emitted from it as well as you're able to take really beautiful scenic 4k quality photos and videos aerial videos as if you're you have your own private helicopter or plane and be able to adjust it to go to where you need to Blake says morning dragon good morning Blake how are thou I like I like uh I like the way you did your name with the little clowns. <laughs> this is from Holy Stone also. This is their HS seven hundred E. This is a non foldable drone, guys. So this is actually a full drone in the case and the kit. As you guys can see, has independent ESC brushless motors and the two point four gigahertz plus five gigahertz first person view. If you guys really need. On the other side, it tells you about the electronic image stageability with the 4K Sony CMOS sensor. So yes, this does 4K video at 30 frames per second. It also does 4K pictures. That's cool. Also has the adjustable camera, which is 90 degrees up and down and 108 side to side with wide angle. This also does the same thing with follow me. So what's really nice is the fact that it does have the follow me so you can actually set paths for your drone as well as it is compatible with your smartphone. So when you're saving photos or controlling it, it does have options that you can use in conjunction with your phone as well. We are going to actually show you guys that in a minute also. Let's show you guys that again. You That's where your phone, your phone would in fit into is right there. It basically is like a video game, a PS4 controller, Xbox controller with prongs or in like little plastic prongs that pop up so you can easily place your phone on there. So your phone would lay horizontal and then from there you can take photos, videos. Both of them do. It's actually very cool. This one has high, low power plus lighting actually cool that they have these on these controllers the drone this one is larger and i'm gonna show you guys this this oh, that's is almost nice... like the size of a dgie but it's a really nice size drone your gimbal this one actually has rubber stops as you guys can see this i like the fact that it has those little like landing pads so that way when it does land it's gonna help provide some shock proof too Back here is actually GPS sensors. You will need to have to uncover those. Back here is where you put the battery in, right? Take the battery, slide it in, you're good to go. Now, I do not know. It is full. It even, look how amazing that looks. But also what's great is it does have a return to home mode. So if you if it goes on its own adventure, you can set it to, to fly back home to you. Like says, I never even checked is uh, enter live active today. Ooh, that's a good question. Justin is enter live active today. <laughs> As you can see, though, the blades are not on this. So we're going to move the mouse and grab this inside here we have a whole bunch more stuff we're going to show you guys all this first is the instruction manual if you guys need it full kit of you, instruction yeah having instruction manual is amazing because it definitely can do a lot of different things it has headless mode which basically you can um have it hover around with you it has altitude hold air pressure sensors optical flow mode um as well as it has return to home mode. So if it goes on its own adventure, you can have it set back to go to its location. And what's nice is the fact that it does have a 90 degree adjustable camera with a 130 degree FOV lens. So it captures a wide, wide angle view. So it's perfect for a panoramic type of shots, but also the fact that you can adjust it um, without necessarily adjusting the whole drone itself is really convenient to have. Good morning, Jacob. Good morning, Jacob. What's up? Good morning. Happy 
just because they happy that's the holiday of the days just because they how are you doing this this beautiful morning in the uh the box but just to put this on guys you just pretty much set it down right and you're on but just remember it does go in a pattern and then it slides to lock in just like that and then it locks in place you will need the screws. I got to find the screws, but four blades, guys, easy to pop in, easy to put in. Plus the screws, just screw it on. And if this one is, like it, blades, it's not, it, even though it has, it has to be screwed in, it's nice because it's just going to make it more heavy duty for when it's landing. And Blake says, I wish I had a good drone, uh, too, with quality camera to capture overhead crowd footage at festivals. Ooh, you know, Blake, I love the way you think. I didn't even think about festival photos. Like for me, I was thinking about like national parks, like forests, mountains, those type of shots. But a festival shot would be amazing because you could really capture like the crowd in a different way. You could be like swooping over to kind of get the full magnitude of of like how fun the festival is going with people dancing, singing, and being able to capture different types of like dance styles. And I love that. That's such a great, great idea. Um, I saw a drone footage that I thought was really unique was like um, in a TV show that I was watching. And the way they did it was like, it was fall the way that it was following the, the car when it was like zigzagging through the road was really, really amazing i was like the only way they're able to capture that is really with a drone because of how close it got to create that but you could really feel the speed of the car and it looked amazing for sure but i think having a drone is really awesome because it's also a fun toy like it's great for all ages in the sense that um it's something you can do outside the house it's an experience you can share with other people and it's something to do that's different as well as it incorporates that photography creativity element so you can really have fun with it not just piloting it which in itself is its own type of fun but also being able to like capture really beautiful photos that otherwise wouldn't be possible to get to without a uh plane or helicopter but also sometimes even planes and helicopters have to be a certain distance from the ground so with this you can really capture some Unique shots and angles. And Justin says, no, uh, interactive isn't just, isn't actually, but my giveaway stream will be tomorrow. Have some special stuff to announce. Ooh, excited. Yes, guys, and make sure that you, if you have not hit that follow, please make sure you hit the follow button. We do giveaways on Dragon Bloggers all the time, both on stream and off stream. Some fun announcements coming tomorrow's stream so you definitely want to be in the loop with that so make sure you please hit that follow so you're in the now as well as there is a laptop gaming laptop giveaway or you can opt in for eight hundred dollars on the dragon bloggers website as well as a nintendo switch Lite giveaway that's coming up Blake says, what time do you stream tomorrow? I got a fun barbecue with friends. You got to take your phone with you. Rubber says, nice. 12 p.m. Pacific time, 3 p.m. Eastern time. Blake says, but I also named my dragon packs. <laughs> Be there. And Dragon posted the link in the chat for the Switch Lite. So, oh, the Switch Lite one is live. Enter to win a Nintendo Switch Lite with Pokemon Legends. Yes, guys, make sure you enter into that. It's amazing. What if you were the winner? Like, that's such a great, like, gift for yourself or someone else. Nintendo Switches are so much fun. And portable. And the next item that we have on our carousel is the Red Dragon GS520 RGB desktop speakers. It is equipped with an advanced sound drive. And these are actually my speakers. Notice the boomkins. <laughs> when you say World of Warcraft in the video, 99.9% .9 chance it's my video. So 
Um, yes, these are my speakers. And what I love is the fact that they do have the RGB lighting. They have six different modes to choose from, as well as uh, you can choose whether you want it to have a motion type of movement or static colors. It's up to your preference, and which is great because everyone has different styles. For me, I like it to be rainbow and flashing rainbow lights. But if you have, let's say, a red black theme, to go with your HyperX uh, uh, gear, you can easily adjust it to to have just red. It's up to you. What's nice is it does have a modern design with a brushed uh, texture finish on the exterior of it, as well as it has an easy to access volume control on the front panel and uh, easy to tap on the top to change the color setting. It is USB powered with a 3.5 millimeter audio um, and mic cable. So with that, you can use it for computers, TVs. It does have a 31 inch cable length between the two speakers. So I have mine up on my shelf. So I love that it's plug and play ready. And Rovers is just a new supporters product supporters that is. I says, well, yeah, but tomorrow is a routine sponsor, not new. Just a product we haven't given away before. Ooh. 10 10 10 giveaway tomorrow guys make sure that you guys follow if you haven't already like says i currently have on 133 entries for the laptop and 80 for the switch Woo! those odds are good this is the red dragon gs 520 anvil rgb desktop speakers it comes in a sticker sealed box as well as a handy guide and some stickers. Both speakers are individually wrapped, but they are connected by a cable as well as you have a 3.5 millimeter audio cable and a USB cable that will connect to your device. Upon taking your speakers out, already you can see that it has four pads at the bottom of each speaker and that's to help prevent it from- I mean, I've had these speakers for over a year, like they're over a year old and they work as great as they did when they were out of the box. Um, they definitely have longevity with them as well as you get premium audio quality and lighting control. I'm going to skip so you guys can see. Oh, Blake, uh, Blake says, you know what else I need? A battery bank from a phone when live streaming. Oh, that's a good point. Honestly, yes. And not just for streaming, but like going when you go to your festivals, you, you know, to have it um, there, but also for when you go to conventions. Dragon says, negative, no response, which is fairly common, bummer. the 2.0 channel and bass it created that two-dimensional sound experience and it was super simple to get set up i was happy with the aesthetic of it as well my favorite light was the one that where the light flows upwards so you kind of feel like it's bouncing to the music Overall, I'm looking forward to the music listening experience when I'm gaming and just listening to my favorite songs. Thanks for watching. But overall, I'm really happy with these speakers. They've lasted and they've maintained their quality as well as I have enough space to have them far apart from one another and still be able to connect it to my PC. And Dragon says, so for the power bank has to have a QC 3.0 and a 2.4A or it has, uh, or it can't charge as fast as you drain power when live streaming, even, uh, then it is iffy. Ooh, Dragon. Super great advice. That is premium advice right there. I didn't even know that. Like says, hmm, I never had to consider it before. Give me something to think about. Yeah, I mean, I never thought about it either. Um, I definitely have a battery pack as something to have for conventions, but it's also great to have it in case of an emergency, especially sometimes there's blackouts or things like that. Being able to still power your device is also great to have a battery pack for that too.
And the next item that is on our carousel is the Any Cubic Vis Viper 3D printer. Anyone in here like to 3D print? 3D printing is a lot of fun because if you play even d and D, I yeah, know there's some D&D &D fans in here, you can easily be able to print like some of your characters. Maybe you want to give it to someone as like print someone something custom to them. If they play a specific type of character, you can design it on a online and then use a 3D printer to print it out. As well as like me, I have my I don't have my key keyboard removal but i guess i could lift up my keyboard for you guys i um 3d printed my i have a priest on my escape key it's like a transparent green so you might not be able to see it because of the green screen but with 3d printing it's a lot of fun because you can get creative and get to see your ideas come to life so this is a 3D printer, and here you can see some of the stuff that's being made. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing leveled so we can get something printed on it. Got it plugged in. Let's go ahead and power it up. That's just cute. Right, <laughs> that's just prepare. cute. <laughs> we're going to preheat, and we're going to preheat the POA yeah. thing. That I, like, I the like the way he said that. That's just cute. And, um, and Blake says sometimes I just need ex extended battery for a phone, like, uh, when it, when it's a place, uh, with no, part exactly, or an airport, for example, um, when you're traveling. Bang says, yeah, most are fun for that lately. Uh, I really love this one power bank. Ooh, good. And, uh, Justin posted a link too for that, so definitely check that out. Jeremiah says, wow. Dragon says, that is my brother-in-law, Merle. He is a riot. He's hilarious. I love it. That is just cute. Like says, this, is, this listing is currently unavailable. Maybe a mystery box item. Ooh. Yeah, looks like minor. Yeah, a little bit of tightening here. Let's go ahead and get this better. And... While wow, that preheats, the nozzle's going to go to 190 centigrade. And I mean, what's great about 3D printing is it's great for all ages. Like, I've taught kids who are seven years old to 3D print. And the projects, don't think of it having to be super complicated. Like, you could do a name tag for a seven-year-old. And with a name tag, they're able to put it on their backpack. So you can pose a question. What, what's a problem that, um, that you see? Oh, well, you're losing this. Well, let's make a name tag. So then getting them to think creatively, then going through the design um, experience is really nice. And uh, Tinkercad also has different like files and things that you can, can use. It's definitely a lot of fun. It gets your creativity going, but being able to create it is even more cool. That in itself is its own process. So you have the process of creating, and then you have the process of actually printing. Almost done there. Let's go ahead and go to prepare for leveling, auto leveling. Their probe will start. Please confirm to continue. We're going to click on OK. And it should contact 16 different places to make sure it knows the bed's level. Yeah, you definitely want it all to be leveled so that way it prints out um, the way it does on the file. So it's nice that it has the ability to let you know when it's leveled and not leveled and kind of working um, to communicate that to you on that uh, nice screen that's right there. And Rover says, uh, same here, Justin must be out of stock for out of country. Oh, that's true. Maybe it's out of stock where, where he's located. And I'm going to skip a little bit forward because 3D printing can take a minute. Now, one of the great <laughs> things about the software included with the Anycubic Viper is that while it's printing, you can still come to this menu and go to Z offset and change it if you find out things aren't printing properly on the fly.
What's really nice too is that the Viper 3D printer, it has a new platform of special coating with a spring seal which features non-deformation at high temperature. So it's scratch resistant coating makes it easy to remove, which is a big thing. It might sound simple, but over time when you're constantly removing things off of the, the tray, it's a lot of them do get scratched up. So the fact that it is scratch resistant is really nice that they thought about the longevity of it, not just the, the out of the box performance, which is still amazing, but also the longevity to keep your designs looking great, getting them off the tray without needing a replacement as quickly as some of the other printers, which is really cool. So we're gonna leave that alone for now. And my bread should be leveled. Yay! It's that simple. Of course, you know, it, it, the designing part is its own thing. But it's, you know, there's always room for to have fun. That's that's the point of, of being creative is sometimes designs don't always come out the perfect way. But the point is, it's like, it's a really, 3D printing is a fun hobby. It allows you to be creative. It allows you to incorporate um, both computer because you're designing online but also then like the kinesthetic where you're touching it and being able to really be involved in your project dragon says yeah that means the brand will ship outside the usa uh that makes sense doesn't mean out of stock you can change the deliver to the top left oh dragon knows all the things justin knows all the things and speaking of 3D printing, with 3D printing uh, is also the need for plastic or AKA resin. And this is any cubic 3D printer resin. So we're gonna be able to look at the type of resin that was used. All right, let's take a look and see what our prints look like, shall we? First time seeing this print, let's see what it looks like. And first impressions, that came out rather nicely. Good support structure, even on the fins. Ooh. Let's go ahead and get this off the plate. Oh, that's there, like, that's level difficulty removal. <laughs> now, always, level present, expert, level yourself, expert. Oh. <laughs> the excitement. Clean off my build plate. And notice, and please notice he's wearing gloves. So it's very good. important. All right. You Next don't want do those chemicals on your skin. Some of the support material. And I aligned it in such a way that it should be pretty easy to get off. And Dragon says, yeah, um, some products would cost more to ship internationally. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense why they have it set that way. Versus resin or filament, depending on the 3D printer. That's true. That's true. With this one, it is resin. So um, it goes with a resin printer. But resin is, is really nice because you can get details that you can't necessarily get with non-resin resin you can get that fine details um chris hello wow hello chris hello <laughs> thank you for being here how are you today the nice thing about uh resin is like say you're doing like a little miniature when you do miniatures, there's a lot of details in the eyes and the hair. And like, if you're like, for example, my keyboard piece is resin. So with when I did that, it's green. So of course it's getting canceled out, but she has very specific shoulder plates because it is a priest. Uh, I play World of Warcraft. So I made a priest on my escape keys like boop, escape. And with that, it I was able to do that with resin, being able to have those finer details. And Rover says, same uh, day, that makes a resin recovery system to take the support and convert it back to a lower grade resin. Oh, 
Dragon says, yeah, right. Hi, Chris. Dragon says, uh, like, mirror it back down into a reusable liquid. That would be cool. Ooh. That would be cool. So that way you're not having as much wastage. And I will look how, rush one of these so you can see the details. Look how amazing that dragon is. Ooh, so nice. Perfect for D&D. &D. Perfect for D&D. &D. But as you can see, this is the Anycubic Gray Resin. And it came out really, really nice. The details are there. A lot of times if it's not resin, you can't capture those type of details, especially with the wings and a little bit more finer areas. And the next item for my friends who like to play golf. Maybe it's raining where you are or it's too hot outside. So you can always opt for some virtual golf. This is the Phi Golf Golf Simulator, and it allows you to enjoy golf from home. Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. Nathaniel. Today, we're going to be taking a look at this Phi Golf Home Golf Simulator. Now, I am not the best at golfing in real life. If anything, I am definitely the worst out of any given friend group. But let's go ahead and unbox this and take a look at everything that this thing has to offer. So unboxing this thing was pretty simple. All you have to do is just pull off that sleeve. The first thing you're going to notice is this little instruction manual. And then you're going to get the sensor. This is going to read the swing pattern and all of the other data. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I was going to say that it's it's definitely a lot more detailed than we golf. And whereas, you know, you're you're going to get a more detailed feedback being that it can check your swing. It's not just reading the motion, but it's actually checking the pressure and things like that. in order to actually give you accurate results. And then you guys are going to get this kind of little quick start guide that's going to tell you do's and don'ts of this simulator. Do have fun. And then the Don't next thing you're going to notice inside of the box is someone. you're going to get this little <laughs> wrist pin. And this is just to make sure you don't launch this thing at your TV whenever it goes off. Continuing on, you're going to have a USB-C cable. And then you are obviously going to get the main unit itself. This thing actually feels really heavy. I, mean I would say the thing is, is sometimes we golf, uh, you know, it can be fun and some of the games uh, on the Wii are fun in that way. But this is specific. If you know someone who loves golf, which I think we all know at least one person who loves golf, if it's not yourself, it, the fact that this would make such a great gift because of the fact it does come with 76 courses packed into a single device. So it's not just one generic course and then that's the game it has 76 different ones to to choose from and you can easily use the app to to pick your preference so it's definitely user friendly app friendly as well as it's going to customize your experience to being more authentic and realistic to actual golf you should be good to go there's really nothing to setting this up my friends so now that you have the app installed and you have the setup all you want to do is just hold down on top of the sensor right here until it starts flashing like you can see and then the phi golf app will automatically recognize that it is connected and it will pair it and you are good to go and so just kind of showing you guys some of the things you can do on this so there's a bunch of different modes on here right now i am just in the practice range and this kind of tells you everything you need to know about your swing so you guys can see right here on the screen there's a bunch of different data i mean such as club path, it's great in the fact packet. that you can actually get feedback it's not like a generic swing and that's that's your power it actually calculates for you how well you swung and 
the power that went into it, which is really detailed. I mean, that would be great for even someone who wants to go to the driving range and things like that. Because even when you're out there, you don't get that detailed response. So pairing this with that, you would actually get some feedback on how you're playing. Chris says, big TV, wow. Wow. Yes, and you get to play some golf, right? Blake says, uh, good, uh, Rover Wolf Watch, Rover, you're welcome. <laughs> All the filaments. A machine for that. Oh, that's good advice, though, that to, to reuse the filament over there. You guys have some great ideas. I love the way you guys think. in real life too and now we're on the long diving range where you can kind of see how far you can hit it and i always slice it to the right but i do that in real life too so it's not a problem with the game you guys <laughs> it's not right a there problem with the game about uh, hello, not being bentley. Able to hit it straight we'll go ahead and try again right here so hello hello how bentley how are you happy just because day, if you didn't know, today's holiday is just because day. So if there's something you wanted to try, maybe you want to try out some some golf, then today is to do it just because. Rover says golf equals cow pasture pool. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a relaxing day over there, Rover. Bentley says, good. I'm so happy to hear you're doing well. Thank you so much, Bentley, for stopping in and hanging out with us. If you guys have not already, please make sure you hit that follow button so that way you guys can be in the loop of giveaways. And when we go live, there are some fun giveaways and announcements coming tomorrow with Justin's stream. So make sure that you guys follow. You don't want to miss out. There's also a computer giveaway or you can opt in a gaming computer giveaway. Or you can opt in for $800 on PayPal, as well as a Nintendo Switch Lite giveaway that's coming up. All you have to do is visit the Dragon Bloggers website and join in that way. Rover says, uh, hi, Bentley. Welcome. As you can tell, I'm not a golfer. Hey, you know what? That's okay, because for me, I might not personally play golf, but I do have family members who do. And most of them, they want to play golf, but some of them may have uh, mobility type of impairments, too. And so for them, it's, it's a lot more harder to get out to the range. It's not even like a personal want. It's more of like physically, it's very hard to. So the Wii was like a good option for them, but I feel like honestly, this would be a great gift. Like even in my mind, I'm thinking, oh, this person would love this because they haven't been able to go to the golfing range and they really like golf. And the Wii U is great, but it doesn't provide the level of feedback that the I golf does as well as the 76 different courses make it so you can switch it up you could literally do a new range once a day and go a whole month and not having the same experience and as you can tell golf, uh, Bentley says hello it's cool drugs I love playing Wii golf with my family back in the day uh, Nat, Wii Sports, yes, we, but I like Wii Golf. Yeah, Wii Sports, Wii Golf is fun. It is. Um, but I like this one because it's more, like, actually going to give you feedback. So it's perfect for someone who wants a more realistic experience, um, you know, which is great. <laughs> you got yourself moderated. <laughs> naughty, naughty, Justin. Bentley says, honestly, I'm not a big golf fan, but personally, any Wii game for me is just amazing. Yes, I mean, can't go wrong. Uh, Nintendo did a great job, and the music itself is happy. River's lonely. Like says, I love on real shooters, not enough game, isn't he? Genre. With crossbow trade. Oh, yes. The cross. Definitely. What I liked about the Wii is the fact that it incorporates movement. In conjunction with like my nostalgia of Nintendo 64. And 
the next item that we have on our carousel when you're done playing golf or playing the Wii or whatever game you guys are up to these days for me it's World of Warcraft this is the Toshiba 7-in-1 microwave so you can cook yourself up a nice delicious meal I was like so shocked at how many different things this microwave can do I'm like 7-in-1 seven 7-in-1 one. Seven one, what is what's, <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. But yeah, I mean, it's definitely really helpful. I mean, this microwave is a microwave. It's an air fryer. It's a conventional oven. It's a broiler. It's a defroster. It's a toaster. It's a yogurt maker. Like, what? Can we get a what in the chat? <laughs> like, it can do everything. At this point, it can, it can grant wishes, you know? It, it, seven in one like that's impressive and it's not like seven in one general features of microwave it's not like seven in one you get defrost like all microwaves it's like seven in one legit seven unique functions and Bentley says yeah Dragon says I love Beat Saber that game is so fun oh I've seen that one I've seen people play that that's a fun game to watch too. If you're someone who likes to watch streams, watching someone play Beat Saber is like watching Rock Band 2.0. <laughs> uh, Flake says, I never used VR before. I keep trying to win a quest too. For me, I get motion. I'm motion sick sensitive when it comes to VR games. So I wish I could play VR, but I, I'm too sensitive for that. Thank you, Bentley, for the follow. Welcome to the Dragon Bloggers. Welcome to the Dragon Bloggers. Bentley, we are so happy to have you here. Thank you for taking the time to hit that follow. But make sure you enter into the giveaways. As well, since you, you took it, taken that first step and followed. And Dragons is like I said, a good feel after playing Beat Saber. I'm not good at that. Hey, that's okay. As long as you're having fun. That's what matters. Drag says, I was better at Guitar Hero 3. I was good at Guitar Hero 3, but you know why? It's because for the longest time when I played Guitar Hero, I didn't have an actual guitar. I had my PS2 controller. And so I learned how to play the instruments on the controller and I got really good at it. <laughs> James here. Today we take a quick look at the new product, guys. This is from Toshiba. This is their actual uh, seven-in-one microwave. Now, seven-in-one, seven yes, in just a microwave, guys. So this is called the Origin Inverter. So what this does is this it can actually air fry. It can bake. It can. I mean. Can we get like a whoop whoop in the chat for this microwave? I love the fact that you get a microwave, but then you're saving so much cabinet space because you are taking the need of an air fryer, a conventional oven, a toaster, a yogurt maker. Like those in, in itself are appliances that are so bulky and you get all of that in one device. Thank you, but like whoop whoop. But I hear you. I hear you. Whoops in the chat. But whoops in the chat. Thank you. <laughs> James here. Today we take a quick look at the new product, guys. This is from Toshiba. This is their actual uh, seven-in-one microwave. Now, seven-in-one. Yes, it's not just a microwave, guys. So this is called the Origin Inverter. So what this does is this it can actually air fry. It can bake. It can broil all of that good stuff all at once. That's it all the things. Pieces, include combination cooking <laughs> and all of that. Now, Blake says, man, fam, much. Oh, thank you, Blake. We both in the chat. We serving it right in the chat. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you. All right, guys, that's for the microwave. That always stays in there. You get a low metal rack. Now, this metal rack can only be used when you're baking and broiling. You also get a higher metal rack, which I can mean, also be used. Note, don't use it on microwave settings. <laughs> Notice how he said when you're baking and broiling, because, you know, it is a microwave. But the fact that you can still bake and broil, it won't turn on the microwave setting when it's in those two settings. So you can still use those metal racks in there. 
And like that's much cloud love. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Then you have the metal baking tray. Now this is good for baking like little cakes or even baking some chicken or meats or stuff like that. So you have all of that. Now I'm going to set this stuff aside. We're not actually cooking with this, unfortunately. I don't have nothing to do today for cooking. But you get a nice large cookbook. Ooh, uh, and it comes with a cookbook. Inside how to cook. With this um, microwave, you know, not only do you get a smart, center, uh, smart sensor, so it actually adjusts the power and cooking time to make sure that your food is being cooked all the way through, as well as it has a 360 degree rapid heat circulation technology, and that will allow your food to take like cris taste crispy. You know, like how when you tend to cook chicken nuggets and and french fries and things that tend to be crispy this will actually make it crispy because of that 360 degree technology versus soggy as well as it doesn't take long with its 1800 watts it can go up to 425 degrees fahrenheit uh with it, its convection oven which is amazing as well as a thousand watts under the grill mode so you just have a lot of versatility in how you use it but the best part is you get that seven in one you get that microwave air fryer conventional oven broiler defroster toaster yogurt maker all in one device all on one part of your counter and be able to do all of that which is i just love that i wish it's like star trek right here this is like star trek it's like the next step before we have Insta food, where you beep boop boop the, the 3D printing code and it makes you food. Um, Blake says, like 30 items in the carousel, I'll be back. Dragon says, cool. All the things, all the things. And the next item that we have on our carousel for your home, so we are looking at this awesome Toshiba 7-in-1. Now we're going to be looking at another amazing home product, which is the UV security camera, which is perfect for providing you ease of mind and comfort. You get crystal clear footage. It has 1080p HD with 135 diagonal field of view, which is amazing because being able to have a larger field of view allows you to zoom in and really see what's going on around your home as well as it does have charging capabilities and it has a 180 day battery life from just one charge which is a huge factor for me as someone who also uses home security cameras that to me can sometimes be the most frustrating thing is when you're Security camera is constantly running out of battery and being on a maybe more busy block and things like that. Having a better battery life really makes a difference because battery is essentially going to be what powers the device. It's going to be what provides that 1080p HD quality to you by being able to keep your devices powered. And Dragon says, for those of you who uh, are new, don't forget to enter into our gaming laptop giveaway. Yes! David says, half a year. Wow! Hello, David! How are you? Callie, thank you so much for that follow. Oh, welcome to the Dragon Brothers, Callie! Welcome in, Callie! Thank you, thank you! Make sure you guys enter into the gaming laptop giveaway. We have a gaming laptop giveaway that's uh, on the Dragon Bloggers website. You can opt in for the gaming laptop. If you win, you can also choose $800 on PayPal, which is amazing, as well as there's a Nintendo Switch Lite giveaway that's also on the website. So make sure that you guys hit that follow. I appreciate you, Callie, for uh, taking that first step. Thank you so much, Amazon friend who just followed. Welcome in. Welcome in to the Dragon Vloggers. Thank you, thank you. Thank you guys for hitting that follow. I really appreciate you guys. Us Dragon Bloggers really appreciate you. And we do giveaways all the time, both on stream as well as off stream. We're really thankful to have you part of our community. So thank you for, for following. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, good morning. 
How are you? And also, those of you who are just coming in, if you want a reason to celebrate, do it because it's just because day. If you didn't know, today's holiday of the day is just because. If you don't believe me, you can Google it. And that is one of today's holidays. So if there's something you've been wanting to try out or maybe a new place you wanted to go eat or a new item like this UFI security camera that you want to get for yourself or for a family member, just do it because it's just because day. The day to celebrate. Let's take a closer look at the security camera so you can see for yourself how amazing the quality is on it. What's really nice too is it does have the IP67 waterproofing rating. So it's built to withstand those elements. James here. And today I'm gonna walk you through how to install the app and connect your app, your cameras to the Eufy Cam 2C home security system setup. As you guys see, I have the little uh, paper here. You guys can see this. That's just the box covering, right? I have one of the cameras here and that's on purpose. And then we have the phone. First, you open up the Play Store if you're using Android, pop over to apps, type in Eufy Security, the first one right here by Anchor, install it, and then we will open it. And since I already have it installed, we will just open it just like that, right? Now, and from the app, that's where you'll be able to view your camera display. That's where you can zoom in and really get that great quality. It does make a difference when you have security cameras. If you don't already have security cameras, trust me from someone who does, like they are so helpful from being able to help your neighborhood, um, being able to check in on packages, being able to just kind of, if you have family members or kids, knowing when they are getting home and those kind of things, being able to keep an eye on them um, as well, with indoor, uh, you know, it, the front of the house, the back of the house, the backyard, wherever they are, having that ability to get a good view of what's going on around your house definitely provides a lot of peace of mind. Do you want to add on to form factor? I will add that on off camera. As you guys see, I do have one device and the, and the home base already connected. The button is right here on top of the camera. I'm going to click that. You're going to see it beeps and turns red. Now, the home base is actually going to detect it. And Dragon says, thank you for following Callie, an Amazon customer whose names I don't know. Yes, we're so happy to have you guys here. And definitely make sure you guys check out those giveaways if you have not yet done so. Um, what's really nice about having an app feature is the fact that you can also share your device with other family members in the house. So if you have other people in your household that you'd like them to also have access to the camera, you can share it with them as well as you can get alerts when there's different types of motion detected. Now they'll ask you, do you want optimal battery life at 20 seconds using this app? Hey, get out of my house. <laughs> get out of my house. Hey, get out of my house. You guys should hear it in the background. So that <laughs> works. We can hey, get out of my house. I don't know if that would work very well, but I mean, it's a good demonstration. Um, but the way he's trying to show is that you can have that dual audio. So not only can you listen to what's going on, but you can also project your voice. So if someone's outside and they're ringing the bell, you're like, no, thank you. I wouldn't like to buy any satellite today <laughs> or whatever it might be. Solar, no solar today. Thank you. But, you know, you can be able to say that you can be able to listen. Um, if you're like wondering, oh, what's that weird noise? Is it's coming from the trash cans? And then you look in, it's a raccoon. You know, be able to, hey, you know, scare off the animal without going out there in the middle of the night is definitely helpful. Dragon says, thanks for the follow. Uh, Callie, oh, I read that. Who's the, oh, I read that already. My bad, my bad. Notifications, do we want notifications? Most notifications, full effect, or include thumbnail. So we will get notifications from this, or in general, status of LED, front door, storage, mounting guide, or about device. Now we can share device with a friend or family member. If you 
So there you go, you, you can change the settings to fit your preference, your needs, as well as be able to share it. For me personally, I share the cameras with everyone in the household because that way everyone's kind of like in the loop and in the now what's going on. And having security cameras definitely does provide peace of mind. Um, they are so helpful to have and to be able to just so you don't have to go outside every time you're like, what is that? Like in one of those scary movies, hello? Hello, is anyone there? And instead of doing that, you can just look at your Eufy camera and be able to get an update. <laughs> also, what's really nice is the fact that Eufy does have an amazing product line. They also make this next item that's on our carousel, which is this Eufy Baby Video Audio Baby Monitor. Hey, what is going on guys? Nathana with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today I am super excited to showcase to you guys the Space View Baby Monitor Pro by Eufy. So this is a very, very easy to set up and use baby monitor by a company that makes very high quality products. So I am expecting this thing to work very well. Getting this thing was super easy to set up. All you had to do was basically just plug in both the camera and the base right here and then just go through the on-screen pairing options. And as you can see, it is paired and it's actually very, very responsive. Yeah, it's plug and play ready and super easy to use. It has a sharp 720p clarity. It has a five inch monitor display. So the great thing is, is you don't have to use your mobile device. You have a separate device if you want to, to be able to view the camera. And that is a nice large display. It is five inches. So you get a full view of the environment and, um, What's really great is the fact that you can rotate the camera. It has a 330 degree camera pan. So corner to corner, as well as it can tilt at a 110 uh, degree angle from floor to ceiling. So with that, you can really get a full view. A lot of cameras, they're fixed in the direction of which they're pointing you can zoom in but you can't necessarily rotate with this particular eufy baby monitor you can do a full rotation and the battery will allows for 30 hours of monitoring and with continuous use like if you didn't turn it off with continuous use it can last 12 hours so it has a really great battery life on it as well this is plugged in currently, but you do not have to have this plugged in constantly. You can let it charge up and then just kind of walk around the house with the screen in your hand. And you're also able to mount this to the wall with the included wall mount adapter. So now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and turn off the light so I can show you the night vision mode because I was actually and very impressed with this. Coming in at 720p, you could expect it to be a little bit higher, but for the price point and the simplicity of this, the IRs on this actually work very well at producing that night vision effect. Well, I can't even really say effect. I mean, it's true night vision. Get that true night vision effect. Thank you, Lamberger. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Hi, Lamberger. Welcome to the Dragon Bloggers family. We are so happy to have you here with us. Thank you for popping in. How is your day going? And happy just because day. Oh my God, there we go! <laughs> there we go! How's it going? And make sure you guys enter into the giveaways. There is a fun giveaway that's going on stream tomorrow, so it's good that you're following. But also, we have a gaming laptop, eight hundred dollars or eight hundred dollars on PayPal giveaway, as well as a Nintendo Switch giveaway. So please, guys, enter into those. You don't want to miss out. And another amazing Eufy product. I love that Eufy just has a huge product line of technology. And this is one of their other home products, which is the Eufy Home Vac H30 Venture. Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today we're going to be taking a look at this Home Vac H30 Venture by Eufy. And so, as you guys can see, Blake is putting the emojis in there. Rabbit love batteries. Duracell? 
with this one with a uh, Eufy's of cordless vacuum. What's really nice is it does use 80 watts and it's lightweight, thank goodness, because one thing that's really nice about this vacuum is the fact that it only weighs 1.78 pounds. So you can effortlessly clean your home without putting strain on your wrist, as well as it's easy to charge and store in one place. It's ready to go when you need it. You just pull it off the charger, vacuum. It does have a two-in-one uh, creative tool type functioning. So it is multi-surface. So you can clean up different types of messes. And the best part is it's easy to charge, easy to hold, and does exactly what you want it to do. Guys, it's making me hungry with your deceptive mitt and chase mitt fest. Ah! <laughs> I know. You make me hungry. Test out the H30 Venture. I'm what I want to do is too. pull up one of my couch cushions here. Dinner's on we already have face. some stuff on the couch, but I don't think that's going to do a good enough job to showcase how well this vacuum works. So we're going to sprinkle some salt against my better judgment. Just don't tell my wife. Oh, so what we'll do now is we'll use the wag mouth head that I'm showing He's you guys right brave. here to attach He's them. All you have to do is simply over slide them off. And if you want to remove them, they just pop right off. So right now we are on eco mode and we'll kind of go over this slow just to see how good of a job this does while using the eco mode suction strength. And you guys can see it does leave a little bit behind, but with a couple passes, I don't think that's going to be an issue. Now we are on the max mode right here, and this definitely does do a lot better of a job at getting everything up. But just keep in mind that this is going to kill the battery on it a little bit quicker. We'll go ahead and speed all of this up just so you guys can kind of see this going through the paces of cleaning everything. It really surprised me how well this worked and how good of a job it did getting everything up. And you guys can see right in there, it even got some stuff that I wasn't even aware was on the couch. Then we'll go ahead and do the top of this. Uh, you guys can see right here, it's got enough suction strength where it gives you those nice like carpet lines or those cleaning lines. Again, we'll go ahead and speed this one up. One of the things that I wanted to talk about is just how impressed I was with the H30 Venture. It does such I think having a portable vacuum is definitely great to have in the house, whether you have light spills, but also even in your, if you want to vacuum your car, that's why I also have like a little vacuum. I have one just for the car for like road trips, taking it with you because sometimes there's always unexpected messes on road trips. And that's one of my, in my arsenal of things I take on a road trip is my portable vacuum cleaner as well as paper towels and just things that you just never know when there might be a little mess and some extra trash bags you just never know so i think having a portable vacuum cleaner is great because if you have a pet mess if you have cereal spill or something in the car spills like chips and crumbs you're able to easily clean it up effortlessly rover's lolling <laughs> And the next item that we have on our carousel is another amazing Eufy product, which is the Eufy by Anchor RoboVac times eight. Robo cleaner. So one feature I like about the Eufy X8 twin turbine RoboVac is the fact that when you go to plug it in the charger in the charging base, you can actually wind the cord inside the charging base so that way you don't have a lot of cord hanging around. That's I also amazing. like the power button is on top of it instead of So you get that side. cord control. Now I have put the Eufy X8 through its paces on my hard floors and my carpets and various rooms in the house. But one of the things about the Eufy X8, which stands out among other RoboVacs, is the fact that it has the twin 2000 PA suction. What this means is, while it was going over the carpeting, almost like a normal vacuum, you could see it actually leaving the carpet disturbed behind it, and you could tell it had enough suction to actually move which the carpet. Is which is definitely important being that, you know, you don't want to just have a vacuum for it to, for, to add googly eyes on top and call it Bob, you know. It's nice that it's actually doing its job. It's, it has a great suction to it and it does have a the special technology. So it has no go zones. It has real time mapping. It's rechargeable. It can be resumed from where it last left off. So if it runs out of battery, it can you can have it to go back to where it last left off when it uh, 
uh, ran out of battery as well as it has zone cleaning so if you want a specific area of your house to be clean you can do that as well as spot cleaning if there's like an area where you spilled something you can have it go to that direct spot and it's tap and go ready it uses the app so that way you can indicate to the robot where where to vacuum where to clean up and it can go back to its ch charging station when it's not being used it can recharge and be used again when you're ready for it to be And the next item that we have on our carousel, which is a very important one with the summer season is upon us. Let there be heat. This is the Paris Refone 8000 BTU AC unit. And it has, it's for row windows and it's mountable. And with it, you get 8000 BTU of cooling power. So you get nice, fresh, cool air for 350 square feet of space. Hey, what is going on, guys? It's Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today, we're going to be taking a look at this Paris Roan air conditioning unit. As you guys can see right here, this is an in wall air conditioning unit, and this has a ton of awesome features and a ton of power so let's just go ahead and dive around it and take a look at everything that it has to offer so as you guys can probably see right here right on the front panel you are going to have all of your controls so go ahead and zoom in and just take a look at them so you guys will notice that right here you're going to have your power button this is energy star certified you have your energy star certified so it is going to help save that power they put some less wear on your power bill for sure, which is great because you don't have to turn on the AC for the whole house. You get to use it where you need it. If you're in that room, you have the 350 square feet of cooling. It has two independent motors. So with that, it provides additional circulation and it's really quiet. It only has 43 decibels of sound. So with that, um, it's really, really quiet in, in the noise that it's producing. And it's about 10 decibels lower than um, competitors, as well as it has a three-in-one functionality. So you can have it using the fan, dehum dehumidify dehumidification and dehumidifier basically dehumidify the room as well as just be able to use it in different types of climates throughout the year first turn it on you're going to notice that the fan speed is on auto because it's reading the temperature in the room and reading what temperature you set it to and adjusting the fan speed accordingly in order to be able to actually cool it down quicker which is a much much needed this time of year um it's great because of the fact that you're gonna save that power you're gonna get that cooler refreshing air and without the expense of like having to use the whole house's ac and use all that power and the next item that we have on our carousel is the id prtsp 410 thermal shipping label printer and what's really nice about this printer is the fact that you can conveniently print out Amazon, eBay, Etsy, UPS, um, etc. Labels from home. This is a label printer that is for people who run their own Etsy stores, Shopify stores. You make your own merch or you sell your own merch and you need to ship out your merch yourself. Packaging it up and ship it out to you know your customers, your consumers, and things like that. This is the ID print or ID PRT shipping label. So the way this works is, and hold on, my headset cord is over my printer cord here. <laughs> I have it all plugged in, so I have cords everywhere. So the way this works is you get a package or several packages. You would weigh them with a package scale, right? Measure them to get the right boxes, do the right measurements. You plug that information into your UPS or FedEx or whatever your shipping provider is, and then this syncs with it and it prints out a shipping label that you could just stick on and then drop off, do that quick drop off or quick pickup. So I created a custom shipping label here because shipping labels have PII data, which is personal info data. So I had to remove a QR code, I had to remove the barcode, and this is kind of like just a sample shipping label. 
That's and I perfect. Already this out on the printer to show you. That's perfect. I mean, you can make your own custom labels. You can easily use this for your business and be able to get your products out efficiently without having to use your home printer, which then requires you to tape it on. With this one, it does have an adhesive backing to it. So after you design your label and print it out, it's ready to go. It's ready to be um, stuck onto your box and shipped away. And the next item that we have on our carousel is the Anchor Soundcore Boost Bluetooth speaker. And with this speaker, it's really unique in the sense that it is also waterproof. It has an IPX7 rated um, uh, covering to it. So it is full waterproof, which is amazing for a speaker. So if you're taking it out to the pool or out and about, you don't have to worry about water getting onto it as well as it has 40 kh uh, gigahertz to bring out like very distinct sound quality for an immersive experience as well as it is USB-C chargeable. So it's going to charge efic efficiently and Quickly, you're going to get a nice power uh, full charge to it within just a couple of hours. James here, and today we're taking a quick look at a new product, guys, for app right over here, guys. It's, of course, then we're going to back out. Now, you have volume control right here, guys. If you need to do volume control, it's right there. So from the app alone, you can also adjust the sound. You can adjust your preferences to it. It's boost on. A party here on Dragon Bloggers. I never miss that spot. Taking big swings, staying in the back. Don't be in the wind. You go out in the back. Easily to pause, guys. Actually, sounds. Pretty decent room filling. Really good. Nice little speaker, really guys. Really good sound this quality. This is, of course, the Soundcore Boost. Thanks for checking out this video, guys, and I hope you all have a great day. That was amazing. I love it. I love the fact that you get this premium sound quality. You don't have to worry about it getting wet. You can take it out and about. It's perfect. Perfect, perfect speaker to have on the go for a trip or a party. And the next item that's on our carousel is the Raptic Link and Lock Anti-Theft for Apple AirTags. It does have a three-digit combination code, and with it, it's heavy duty. Let's take a closer look at how well it works. Today, we're taking a quick look at a product that actually works with the Apple AirTag. As you guys see, I have a simple Apple AirTag sitting here. Of course, it still is wrapped because I have not activated it just yet. The device that we're looking at goes with this. And what it is, is this is from Raptic. Guys, Raptic has made you a, a link and lock for your Apple AirTag. What that means is this is a heavy duty combination lock. Heavy duty, not easy to break in. To protect your Apple AirTag. What that means is, is you can connect this up to like your luggage and find your luggage at an airport. Let's say, you know, it, it's that's so handy to have. So if you're going on a trip and you're worried about your your suitcase and things like that, making it to where it needs to go, you can put it on your suitcase. And with the AirTag, it allows you to track whatever the AirTag is on. So if you're using the AirTag on a set of keys, if you're using it on a like on any type of keychain or ring loop, it allows you to find that device, but a lot of times air tags can easily be removed off of that product. So with this lock, you're able to lock it to the air tag so the air tag cannot be removed easily without your combination. Little button to open it up, you press it, it pops open. On the bottom down here, and I'm not sure you guys can see this, there is a little pin. That little pin pushes out so you can set the combination to what you want so from there you're able to easily attach the air tag and lock it to where you want it to be i love that james uh suggested using it on a suitcase because that's definitely a uh, baggage sometimes gets lost and having that peace of mind of where your luggage is at is definitely really handy to have 
And speaking of traveling and fun things this summer season, the next item on the carousel is the Hiera Cool Phone Pouch. And with that, it is a waterproof pouch. It does fit the iPhone 13. So it definitely has a lot of room in there. It has IPX8 certified um, waterproofing to it. It can go up to 100 feet. Uh, in water and be okay and it measures seven inches tall by four inches wide so it fits a, an array of different devices so this is the universal waterproof case um, it's very easy to use it comes with two cases and two lanyards that you can use i'm going to go ahead and drop my phone into one of them and kind of show you how it works and, and the lanyard which is perfect if you're going to the water park, if you're going fishing, um, you're going to the lake, you're going anywhere where there's like water, but you don't want your phone to be necessarily put away completely. Having a water pouch is a must for anyone going on a trip or a f even a fishing trip, even if it's local, having somewhere to keep your phone. With these cases, you can still tap onto your phone's screen. Um, without having to completely take out your phone, which makes it convenient. Lanyard on it if you're going to be using in like a pool or like open water or something, so you don't have to worry about it. But as you can see, I take my phone up out the uh, water and I can still use it through the, um, the screen itself. I don't know if my face ID will unlock. The nice part too though is that as you can see Nikita is tapping he's able to still use it but also the fact that you don't have to put it into a giant bag with all your other waterproofing stuff you can have your phone in its own bag because it does have its lanyard so you can wear it around your neck you can wear it around your wrist and be able to take it with you on the go. And the next item that we have on our carousel is the Bessie Waterfowl Spout. It has a really beautiful modern aesthetic to it. The first one is from Bessie. This is their brass black waterfall spout faucet, guys. I really want to put this in my bathroom, and I think I'm gonna because I should be able to connect this. Now, this is black in color, but it is. It does have a nice matte black color. It has a six inch deck plate with a four inch center sink installation. Um, and it is lead free, lead free uh, brass construction. So it is super rust resistant, which is perfect for using in the bathroom. Um, you can even, it does have a touch RV sink uh, capability. So if you have an RV and you wanna put it in there, uh, you can tap it and it turns on. And the aesthetic, I just, I'm obsessed with the aesthetic of this thing. It just gives it that beautiful modern vibe. And being that it's black, it will just match with everything. Yep, so you guys can see what it looks like. I'm going to start using this, I think. If you guys need, Bessie's got you connected with this. Now, this is solid brass, guys. This whole fixture is solid brass. Uh, it does come with the, the, the deck plate, guys, for one to three hole uh, transition. Four and a half inches tall. Uh, it does stick out about four and a half inches wide. So, Bessie, if you... We have the Bessie Shower Rainfall Shower Head, guys. I believe this kit's even bigger. And screws. Cold and hot. Up with this kit. They thought I didn't want to have to do this, but let's see if I can get this out, right? Guys, if you ever just wanted to.
You're not gonna have to worry about that rusting. Oh, thank you, dragon. <laughs> thank you. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Jump into a shower with the shower head that big just raining down on you. I do all the time. Bessie has it done. Now, each one of these nozzles, guys, is rubber. So they can be cleaned. They are nicely done. They are rubbered onto black. You have your articulated uh, connection right here. It is a screw on shower heads. I do love that with their product line, you can easily have that modern aesthetic, having that black mat for the for the faucet handle as well as the shower head is amazing. It definitely provides that modern look, but also it's utility in the fact that their product lines also are made from brass, so you're not gonna get that rusting. And you get the ultimate shower experience by feeling like you're dancing in the rain. As well as with this shower head, it does have air injection technology, so you save 30% on water which is great, especially, uh, you know, if you live somewhere where it's a warmer climate where water is, is definitely like uh, in more of a state of drought or trying to be under conservation. Uh, so this is definitely plays into ha helping your water conservation efforts by also using less water, but be not jeopardizing or taking away from your own shower experience, as well as the shower head is two in one and has is handheld um as well so if you wanted to look at some of their other uh shower heads too they have some other types of styles so this one has the square type that makes it so it's like the rain function but they have other ones too and they have a beautiful modern aesthetic to them this thing's a big hit Put the wall on the side. And the next item that we have on our carousel is the FFW dog dryer. Brother says he save water shower with a shot. That's right. I saw a shirt before it said save water shower together. <laughs> I just lulled. Well, with that one, it's square shaped, so you don't have to worry about one person getting more than the other. You can cut cut the square in half, right? Easier easier uh, to do that way. Hi, I'm Deer. I'm going to be showing you guys this awesome pet blow dryer, which all of the pets are automatically interested in already. I cannot get them off me. They're saying, oh, this is for me. This is for me. Yes, this is the FFW Dog Dryer 4.3 HP 3200 Watt Pet Grooming Dryer. And it has a decibel sound of 5 to 10. So it's really low sound, which is perfect for pets. Like a lot of dryers that are built for people don't necessarily have um, the sound aspect as a priority but with this one being that it's geared towards animals loud sounds can definitely scare them and so being that this blow dryer only produces 5 to 10 decibels it's very low in sound as well as it does come with a smart led touch screen so you can easily adjust it to fit your pet pet's preference and their hair type uh, you can adjust between the wind and speed settings. It can go from 95 degrees Fahrenheit to 140 degrees Fahrenheit to give them that full um, drying as well as you can adjust the speed. So if you want it to be slower or faster, you can do that as well as it does have a heat insulated handle. So while you're using the dryer, your, your hand's not going to warm up and it does have a flexible long hose. It can extend up to 91 inches so you get a lot of range so you can move around your fur baby be able to dry the, their top coat their undercoat and around their body and really get in there as well as four different nozzles that cater to your dog's hair type and also their body size so if it's a cat versus a dog you can be able to change out the nozzles to fit the 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 um the their their body type so if they're a cat you can change it to a smaller one if they're larger longer hair you can choose the nozzle that fits that
And speaking of pampering time, uh, a human pampering item that we have on our carousel is a Syncom massager gun. Time to get relaxed. James here with a quick unboxing and showcase of a new product, guys. This is from our friends over at Syncom. Now, let's see. We'll just use the little hammer, the flat hammer top, right? It just goes in, guys. It, once it's in, it's in. If you want to take it out, pull it right back out. It's that easy. You can change change between the different head types. It does have five intensity modes. It has six massager heads. What's nice about having the versatility in the massager heads is that you can get to different parts of your body. Um, for example, the big round head that um, that was on there is great for massaging the back. The U shape is great for getting in between the shoulders. The flat head is great for getting a deeper massage into those muscles. The bullet head is great for getting a deep tissue massage in the trigger points, as well as a small round head is great for arms, thighs, and calves. And the rubber gas head is great for just getting around the abdomen and chest area. So being that you have these different massager heads to work with, you can really get in and around as well as it is a nice compact size. So that way it's not gonna put too much strain on your wrist. It does have um, a diff a six, it does last six hours per charge. So, you're pretty much set once it's charged you can use it for up to six hours and it's good to go to massage you whether you're needing it for a workout or you're traveling for work and you know feeling a little bit stiff having something to help soothe those muscles after sitting for so long is also really great for relaxing and dragon says it has the wand too the wand it ground swishes no, I mean, it, it's really great the fact that it does allow for a lot of charging. It's easy to travel with. And the fact that you're going to get a really premium quality. It, it is ultra quiet, too, so you don't have to worry about the noise uh, bothering you. That's nice that they've incorporated that. Oh, that was back on the share comment. Oh, comment. Oh. <laughs> Oh, my apologies. I thought it was for this. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, was, they're both replicable. I'm like, okay, it has a, a different head type on. I guess the, the bullet head is like a wand shape. It disappeared now for me, so I think the chat caught up. But the next item that we have on our carousel. Let's is this awesome Siago electric standing desk. And you know, sitting a lot of time being sedentary definitely can put some strain on your body. So the fact that this desk can be lifted up is awesome and it is electric. So it doesn't put wear and tear on you. It's, it does it electrically. Hey everybody, so this bad boy right here is my Siago Electric Height Adjustable Standing Desk and it's absolutely amazing and has a lot of cool features. The first of which is the feature that you use to adjust, adjust the actual height of the standing desk, which I'm going to show you here. So I already have some custom profiles built in where if I hit one right here, it's going to adjust it to its highest position. Now its lowest height is 23.6 inches and it goes all the way up to about... 49.2 inches and it will hold 240 pounds of weight. Look how seamless that is. It's sturdy and super easy to build. It only took me about 20 minutes to build this entire thing. But now that it's about to reach its highest height, it's going to stop right there. I'm going to hit two and it's going to just down to a sort of medium setting at 100. And then uh, once it gets there, it's I'm that going easy. to show you guys basically how to program this really amazing, really easy to use standing desk. So so it's prog programmable. You can easily adjust the setting just by the tap of a button. It can support a weight of up to 240 pounds. And it's definitely very versatile. It has, it can lift from 23.6 inches to 49.2 inches. And Nikita also talks about how to program it. And with it, you get 48 by 24 inches of desk room, so you get a lot of space on there. And 
It does have three monitorized buttons, so it remembers your comfort and your height. So every time you go to it, you don't have to reprogram it. It actually does have memory capabilities to be able to set it up. And it takes about less than 20 minutes to assemble it. And from there, you have a really great functional desk that allows you to adjust it to if you want to stand up, which is definitely great for your body. A lot of us uh, are working remotely, so being able to stand up when you're working is definitely going to put less wear and tear on your body and help work with that, you know, remote lifestyle. But also, even if you're someone who works on the computer in general, if you want it for your office, it's definitely a great, great, great tool to have. And the next item that we have on our carousel is the AirTalk HIPAA air filter. And with this, it's great for removing pollen and, you know, removing things that cause allergies and smoke particles that can cause, you know, your lungs to inflame and coughing, as well as it helps remove the odors that come from food or just pets. And just overall, it helps keep the air nice and clean. This particular air filter uh, can help support 492 feet um, of space. As Oh, no, it covers 1,100 uh, feet per space in an hour. So depending on how long you have it going for, it does help clear different sizes of rooms. Rover says, a little too many hours on the computer. <laughs> I mean, that's that's how life is, right? I mean, I play World of Warcraft, so, like, when you're sitting a lot, you... It, it, it puts wear and tear in your body. So, using a desk that does lift up is definitely really healthy to have. I'm here um, unboxing and then showcasing the AirTalk AP1002 air purifier. This is a large room air purifier that's ideal for like a living room, a kitchen, a dining room, or a large bedroom thanks to its size and its ability to move air throughout a much larger room space. So pulling it out in the box, let me show you what you get. While most air purifiers are either square or cylinder in design, this one kind of has an oval design, which makes it easier to go flat up against the wall and be less obtrusive or stick out so it doesn't stick out. So it doesn't stick out as far from the wall, which is kind of nice. Pulling That's off the really nice. Here. The fact that you can have it easily on, you know, the side of the wall. It's not going to interfere. And you can enjoy that nice, crisp air quality. It does remove 99.99% .99 of allergens, dust, odor, smoke, and pollen. It's definitely a must-have, especially if you're a pet owner or live somewhere where it's windy I use air purifiers a lot and they really, you can tell the difference when they're not going, um, especially with if there's fires nearby and smoke. It's definitely a great tool to have. And if you've been on your feet or you just need some pampering time, the next item that is on our carousel is the Fit King Foot and Leg Massager. Rover says, from 12 until around 6, I get to go outside to check on the mail six days a week. Oh, well, there you go. There you go. That's an important job right there. After you're done checking the mail, though, you might want a foot massage. Hey, guys. So here we've got <laughs> a Fit King air compression leg massager. If it's got Fit King and massager in it, it's got my stamp of approval. So I already know this is going to be an absolutely amazing product. We're going to open it up and see what's inside of it. And then I'm going to use it and let you guys know. So it has a quick start guy and it comes with a and with it too it has two by two airbags inside so it creates a kneading and stroking of tissue sensation it has two modes and three massage intensity so you can adjust it to fit your preference as well as it incorporates 10 massage techniques so it makes it a more personalized experience to be able to fit your needs if you want more pressure and massage a certain area you can choose the settings that best fit what you're looking for is they're absolutely amazing so first off it comes with a really long cord as you can see i have it plugged over here and it's 10 feet so you can definitely run it wherever you need to but she has it on right now and she's working with the a function 
on the lowest intensity. You can change if you want it to have it on mode A. Or is it like it's a break for eyes and body? Yes, exactly. And then you can hit the intensity button to change it. So green is the lowest. Yes. I think, you know, the you know, massaging the legs is so, so important because we're on our legs, you know, and even when you're not on your legs, having that blood circulation is so healthy for your overall knee health, leg health, and providing that circulation is definitely a must whether you're someone who's active or not as active definitely a great tool to have as well as a great gift i mean if you don't want to massage your partner's feet this is your way to get around it <laughs> and the next item that's on our carousel is the simpa cordless table lamp what I love about this lamp, this is actually one of my items that I reviewed and I love it because you get 360 lighting. This is the Simpa cordless table lamp. It has a awesome modern design and provides 360 lighting with its cylindrical shape. I mean, being that it's cylindrical in shape, you're going to get that full range of light illumination as well as you tap it to tap the metal to turn it on or off as well as adjust the lighting uh, color. It has 3000 to 3500K color temperature adjustability. It's perfect if you want to use it for camping as a nightlight or just to have as an emergency backup light. It uses uh, a LED technology, so it's very bright, but it can last 110 hours on a single charge with the minimum brightness. I love it because it has a handle, but the modern design is really, really beautiful too. And it provides a romantic lighting. Like it feels warm, cozy, and I just absolutely love it. I'm definitely going to take it next time we go camping. But for now, uh, when my niece sleeps over, she likes the nightlight. So it's perfect as a nightlight because I can adjust it to be really low in brightness. Chris says, I love the added wood on the lamp, right? Me too. I, I think the added wood gives it this modern aesthetic to it which just looks really great it doesn't i have actually right here <laughs> speaking of i have it right here because instead of waking up the whole village i can just take my little lantern go do what i need to do without using the extra power around the house when i just need to go grab some water or go use the bathroom or something like that And the next item that we have on our carousel is the Suyuvo 3-in-1 wireless charger. And what I love about this wireless charger is that it this also has a modern oh, design. Oh, it has a really black, nice black finish to it, as well as you can easily charge your iPhone, your uh, iWatch, and AirPods through one device. I like how compact it is as well as it does use CNC technology. So it's very sturdy and it does have an alloy, aluminum alloy body. So the construction on it is reliable. It's gonna last a very long time as well as it does incorporate fast charging. So with the type of adapter that it's built with, it's gonna charge your devices really quickly as well as the earbuds do support RQI certified, so they're safe to use with your Apple devices. And what's nice is the fact that it does have safe protection. So with that, it's really important when you consider wireless charging because of the fact that it's not going to overheat your devices like some other wireless charger pads do. As well as it is case friendly, so you don't have to remove case. Um, it does fit a slim fit type of case and charges perfectly from there perfect for a desk perfect for a side table definitely a handy tool to have but also a great utility gift to give someone else and the next item that's on our carousel is one of the beautiful elizabeth mott collections i love this Timer. I'm actually wearing it right now. What I love about it is that it does have SPF 30. So it's perfect for wearing out while providing you a matte finish, but also helping protect your skin from damage. 
and it does help keep your makeup in place it locks it into place elizabeth ma is great for people with sensitive skin like myself a lot of times when i wear things on my face it can cause me to get like itchy or blotchy or break out and i haven't experienced any of that with elizabeth Mott's products and that's because they use really great ingredients it's very lightweight it's comparable to my clinique um primers and face products and benefit products that i've used i'm really happy with the fact that i can get that radiant look with it too if you didn't even want to put foundation you can wear it as is because it does have a little bit of a subtle tint to this um this primer the matte version has a little bit of tint to it very minimal but it's a little bit there as well as it's just great for all skin types what's great is it's going to help your makeup last longer it's going to help prevent creasing and splotching throughout the day as well as you're going to get this lightweight basically sunscreen without wearing something that's oily and heavy And the next item that is on our carousel is the Creep House Solar Dock Lighting Driveway Dock Lights. What's great about these lights is the fact that they are waterproof, they are weatherproof, they also can withstand if you were to drive over one of them on accident. Um, they're not going to break. They're built to last. It does have uh, six LED lights, so you get a really beautiful uh, intense light with them as well as a 1200 mAh battery so it lasts 60 hours at a time and it's enough uh, supply to lead 10 to 12 hours as well um, avoiding rainy days and cloudy days you know can sometimes change the battery hey guys we're gonna be taking a look at these solar lights today so these are outdoor solar lights they charge um, off of the sun which is super cool so you don't have to worry about putting batteries in them or anything so there is the um user manual super short sweet to the point so it tells us that um there is a working mode which is light control let's see on the back of function at sunrise they will power on automatically um power off and the best part is you don't have to worry about going out and charging them if you want to give your home that you know homey look and be able to add a modern aesthetic adding the driveway the lights the are yeah, really helpful and you can easily put them on your deck and have it have it on the pathway like if you have steps on your deck just for safety too at nighttime if you're trying to get around having these type of lights definitely helps a lot to illuminate the area and the fact that they're solar power means you don't have to worry about re going out and recharging them and Dragon says, yeah, I love solar powered lights. How I hate replacing batteries or running out of power. I know, right? Especially with outdoor lights. I think having lights really makes a place look really homey, um, but also in a way it provides safety. Because if you put them in areas, like for example, on a driveway, areas you don't want to drive over, as well as on steps, you're going to be able to walk more safely, drive more safely, but still add some character to your home to make it more personalized to you. Um, I think they're great to have. I love outdoor lighting in general. I have outdoor lighting in the front of the house. I have outdoor lighting in the back of the house. And I think it adds a character element, but a utility element because you're going to get that illumination that you need to see where you're going. And the next item that's on our carousel is these awesome, uh, Tis Maddox Professional Manicure Tool Kit. Um, and what's really nice about this set is you get nail buffers and nail files. And in this video, my sister Tis helped me Tis out. Piece, she lent me her hand. <laughs> Let, my sister lent me a hand. With six pieces of double-sided sandpaper nail files, which are 17.8 by 1.9 by 0 0.4 centimeters and weigh approximately 7.5 grams. 
And my sister was so impressed with this nail filer. Of course, I sent her home with half. We split the set so she could have half. I could have half. It comes with more than enough for you to share. It has 12 pieces. It has three nail. I'm uh, sorry. It has six nail files and six buffers. So with that, we just we split it in half. And it was just really nice to be able to to share it with her as well as she was really, really impressed. She was like, wow, this works really, really well. And that's because it does have a um, 100 grit side and 180 grit side. So whether you're using it on artificial nails or on natural nails, you'll be able to easily file them, shape them um, to your preference. As well as the buffer is great for shining your nails and um, providing a little bit less uh, grinding, but still shaping them in a way to be able to, if you want to put polish and things like that, adding a little bit more of a um, kind of surface will allow it to, the polish did here better. Blake says, I seen the one that has the panel on the cord and you hang the lights of your gazebo and panel outside. Perfect ambient light. Ooh, yes. I love ambient lighting. Whoever says those files could also be used with 3D printer. I know, so <laughs> that's true. <laughs> I didn't even think about that, but you're 100% right. Especially these ones. I mean, acrylic is uh, very similar, right, to resin. So um, you definitely, these, these uh, nail filers do have that. 100 grit and 180 grit, so it would be perfect for that too. I didn't even think about that. See, Robert, I love the way you think. I see that all the time because I really do. And the next item that we have on our carousel is the mango scrub. And I, what I love about this mango scrub is the fact that you get a really yummy citrusy fragrance it does smell like real mango and that's because it it does have mango puree in it this is the art naturals queen's botany mango scrub the fragrance in this scrub isn't super sweet or overpowering it smells very natural to what mango does smell like and that's because in its ingredients it does have mango puree which is rich in vitamins and minerals like vitamin a e c k magnesium potassium and more i love that this scrub i mean honestly you do get a lot of benefits from having a actual mango the vitamins that are in mango but the fragrance in itself is relaxing but i'm really impressed with the, how smooth my hands felt afterwards it really did a great job exfoliating the hands and it didn't leave them feeling dry and like stiff it felt left them feeling very soft and silky which i was so impressed by it I'm like, where has this been my whole life? So now anytime I'm like, I have it now in my bathroom. So when I'm washing my hands too, whenever I need to re-exfoliate, my hands are so smooth. <laughs> Thanks to this mango scrub. Um, and I absolutely love it. I had soft hands before, but now I'm like, my hands are a whole new level of soft as well as healthy because of the vitamins. And it's also very much plays into what I love. I love aromatherapy. So having something that smells like this is citrusy. So it definitely wakes you up. It's a happy smell. You feel, you know, more positive. You're like, oh, it's going to be a great day. And my hands are smooth. So it's definitely a win-win for me. And Rover says, uh, those uh, files could also be used with the... Oh, I read that. And then Rover says, I think that's the box. You really do. And I love that you share your ideas too. And speaking of hands and beauty, the next item that we have on our carousel is the... Uh, Metalonis gel nail polish and what I love about this set is it comes with six different nude colors It is gel polish. So you do need a um, UV light to cure it as well as um, It doesn't come with the base um, Gels or top coat. So if those are things you don't have yet You will need to get those to 
have better results. I did um, have those things already, so I'm not a nail tech by any means. I'm just a person who likes hobbies. So <laughs> my sister let me her toes. So um, I was like, can I do your toes? And it was perfect for her because she got a pedicure and, and uh, we got a, a, some sister time. This is the model one six piece a going new gel nail polish set. The 0594 is ivory, 0274 is seashell, 0783 is misty rose, 1071 is bisque, 0824 is burly wood, and the 0946 is saddle brown. I love that this gel polish is 11 toxin free cruelty free and vegan friendly as well as it doesn't have a strong odor please note the set only comes with the colors and not the additional polishes and lamp overall i love the 50 degree angle brush so it makes it easy to apply as well as the paint is anti-chipping and bubble free and allows for a really beautiful pigment once it's applied thank you for watching Yes, my sister really enjoyed these colors too. It looked really cute on her. It had a natural aesthetic to it, but it was also vibrant enough. I did apply three coats of color to just get more of that, you know, the actual color I wanted. And with this nail polish, the material, the chemicals it's made out of is not strong in odor at all, which was perfect when I was doing her nails. And they say that it can last up to 28 days. So it definitely has a lot of longevity with it as well. And the next item that we have on our carousel from those of us who are waking up just now you're getting out of bed maybe you want to make your your sleep a little bit more cozy well you should, guys should check out the hand sleep memory foam queen mattress pad the nice thing about a mattress pad is you can get that additional comfort uh without having to go and buy a completely new mattress james here and today we're taking a look at a new product guys this is from hand sleep this is their memory foam queen size mattress pad or cooling mattress pad which is really cool because we've been needing a new mattress pad and this one does a couple things this black I love the fact that it has cooling to it because I also sleep warmer. So the fact that it cools, you're not gonna like sweat easily. The materials are also skin friendly. They're, it's soft and cozy, breathable. It has non-slip on it. So it's not gonna easily slip off of your mattress as well as it does have deep pockets. So that way it can fit really nicely onto your bed. And it measures 60 by 80 inches. And it's great for if you want to use it for your bed, but also like if you want to add a little bit more comfort to a guest bed. So that way you don't have to buy an as expensive mattress, uh, but you want it to still be cozy. Adding a mattress topper is a great way to up the quality on a mattress and be able to get that comfort and quality without the expense of it. Talk about this, guys. Since it's got the bamboo, it will help regulate the heat and all that. It's got the 360 degree elastic pocket, which is what I was talking about, the polyester pocket to fit in there. Now, of course, I've already actually... And side note, it is also stain resistant. So if um, you want to get one for one of the kiddos' beds too, if they have an accident, it's something that's good to have to in case you need to easily wash it. I accidentally dropped the box, so I popped it back open. Not a big deal, right? So we're going to pull this out. Now this is vacuum sealed, guys, inside this. Now, since it's vacuum sealed, once you open it, let it sit 24 to 48 <laughs> hours or a little more to let it get its size. Uh, to air back up, to get back to its true size. Let's skip oh, forward. Oh, I'm kind of show you this. <laughs> if you flip this over, there is an actual stitching seam right here. And this also is white colored and variation of powder, but this is the side you want down, unfortunately. Uh, then it's the anticipation, clover, right? The anticipation. You know, other, like clover pattern and perforated bamboo fabric, which if you touch, I love the perforated cool fabric. Through. It just makes it look even more high end. 48 hours before use, which is really, really great, guys. Now I'm gonna lay on here, I'm gonna tell you. 
Hi. This thing is super <laughs> soft. It actually adds a nice amount of thickness to this with the memory foam, the gel coating. Because you gotta remember, guys, it does have that gel layer that gives you the cool <laughs> touch to this, which is really nice. <laughs> then you have the memory foam layer, and then you have the other layers with the fat on top, guys. <laughs> Hand sleep thought about it. They did you properly. Hilarious, this Justin. This is a great piece. If you guys need one, Hand Sleep's got you uh, covered with their memory foam topper for your bed. Now, thank you for checking this video out, and I hope you guys have a great day. I love that. I mean, what a great way to make your mattress more comfortable. A lot of us don't invest in our sleep, but sleep is like half our life is like spent sleeping. So putting, you know, time and thought into making your sleep more comfortable is definitely something to consider, especially if you sleep hot. Getting something like this where you're going to be able to sleep cooler is really nice. Margaret's lolly. I says, oh, SES, they are very weird. James Harris, James. He is famous. I love James. He's so, he's so positive and kind. And I, I, I know he, he means well. He's giving us the full review. And I really appreciate that. The full review. <laughs> And the next item that we have on our carousel is the Ionic Hair Dryer by Larmahoy. And I love this hair blow dryer because you get two nozzles, one diffuser, three heating settings, two speed settings, and a cold setting. It is foldable, which is perfect for traveling and keeping it in your dresser drawer or putting it under the cabinet, as well as you can use it to curl your hair, straighten your hair, and just style it in different ways that best fit your preference. It does have an ETL and ALCI safety port uh, plug, so that way you can easily charge it without worrying about short circuits and energy leakage and things like that that could be dangerous, as well as with the cold setting, you can easily set your hair. What's nice about it is that the nozzles do have 360 degree rotation so you're not going to strain yourself you can easily rotate it to reach the back ends of your hair and um, be able to get that full effect um, by the way that was a cute little into on on that one like the mirror dropped in on while you were already floating hair <laughs> thank you <laughs> thank you for noticing I appreciate you Thank you, Justin. Yes, I, I was having fun with it. <laughs> I definitely was having fun with it. I really do love this blow dryer. I love that it also has that, that hook so you can hang it. But I personally love the fact that it folds. Like, there's so many ion, ionic hair blow dryers that are really beautiful, but they're bulky. And with this one, the fact that you can fold it to me is such a huge selling point because cabinet space, oh, that's limited real estate right there. I got hair thing, other straighteners. I got face masks, face products, hair products, makeups, yada, yada, yada. Like that real estate is really prime real estate under the cabinets. So I love the fact that it folds, but also when I travel, it's a nice convenience of being able to pack it and also take up less real estate in the suitcase. So you're able to easily straighten your hair. Um, I'm not a hair novice. I'm not a pro, but I was able to simply dry my hair within 15 minutes and I have long, thick hair. And I love the fact that it does come with these different nozzles so you can really achieve different aesthetics. And as you can see, I was able to completely dry my hair. And with the Ionic technology, it's great for taming unwanted frizz. It makes your hair more silky and soft versus drying it out and damaging it. And the next item that we have on our carousel is a pull cow garden tool organizer this garden tool organizer is amazing because it does have a triangular shape this is the pull and so cow garden tool organizer with that you can easily store it in a corner without edges hanging out which is perfect because 
you don't want to stub your toe or trip on it um with this cart being that it's that shape makes it really easy to put away in a garage or outdoor in your backyard or however you want to do it if you want to use it as a garden tool organizer it's great for that but honestly it's not limited by that you can use it for cleaning products and other types of uh tools that you want because it does have 31 slots in there so you can use those 31 slots to fit tools like rakes and shovels, and it provides the stability of something like that, as well as it does have 13 small storage hooks, which I really love because of the fact that you can easily hang things on there. And they do have a rubber pad over it. So it's built not in a way, not in just a way to uh, be efficient and utility, but also to be safe. It supports shovels and rakes, as you can see in my video, as well as it has those hooks so no one's going to scratch themselves on it, as well as it does have four removable storage hangers, um, so you can adjust it to where you want. It does also have a mesh bottom, so if anything falls from the top, it has somewhere to land versus just directly on the floor. And it does have three flexible cast um, caster wheels, so they're heavy duty. They rotate 360 degrees and two of them are lockable so you can keep them in place as well as they're made from the organizer is made from top quality steel as well as it has a powder coated finish so it's going to protect it from rusting so if you have it outside like i do um having that extra powder coating on it is great because i don't have to worry about it withering away um quickly from rust and things like that the sizing is great. It's 24.6 inches long by 16.9 inches wide and 24.6 inches high. So it's a perfect height for putting shovels, rakes, and other things. Like if you wanted to put cleaning tools, you could put brooms and cleaning materials. And it would easily be able to keep it in place and be able to organize it. Um, I love the fact that this organizer does have arc edges. So with that, it's an additional safety thing. It's not only going to protect you uh, from scratching, but if, when you push it against the wall, you don't have to worry about it scratching other objects. And with that high density mesh too, it's going to make it so you have an extra place to store something or to just prevent things from falling down. Um, a lot of the organizers I've seen are usually square, rectangular in shape. So one of my favorite features on this one is the triangular shape because of the fact that you can tuck it away in a corner easily. Um, like if I go back on here, you can see how I have it in the corner and it's not gonna have those edges hanging out. And even with the hooks, they have that rubber coating. So you're not gonna scratch yourself. So if you have other people or younger uh, kidlets who are outside, it's like less of a hazard, which I really love that not only did they incorporate that utility, but they definitely took a lot of time to make it something that's safe to use um, where maybe kidlets might be roaming around. And that was the last item on our carousel. But I really appreciate everyone for being here today. If you guys have not already followed, we have a really fun giveaway that's coming up. There's a giveaway that's tomorrow um, on stream with uh, Justin from Dragon Bloggers, as well as um, we do also have a computer giveaway. A gaming computer giveaway and if you win the gaming computer you can choose the gaming computer or $800 on PayPal as well as we do have a Nintendo switch Lite giveaway too so if any of those sound fun all you have to do is hit that follow button and enter into the giveaway and you have a shot at winning some of these amazing things there's always giveaways on dragon bloggers on stream and off stream and we stream almost every day, so definitely hit that follow. Greg says, yo, shit, be fun. Chris says, great job, Aster. Thank you, Chris. Yeah, it's going to be a ton of fun. You guys don't want to mess out, so be sure to hit that, that follow. Um, I, my normal stream schedule is Wednesdays and Fridays from 6 to 8, but if you follow, you can find out whenever we go live. Greg says, thank you, Chris. First time uh, she did a four-hour stream for us. Yay! 
the long she has done for us so far. And I loved it. I love being here with you guys. I honestly do. I, you guys are so amazing. Everyone here is so positive and I get to learn a lot and I love, I'm a constant learner. I'm a forever learner and getting to um, share these products with everyone. We're all learning together and like Rover coming up with great ideas on how to use things creatively. I really love the way you guys also think about these products. So even though I might know a lot about some of these products, you guys think of innovative ways to use them. And so I feel like we're, there's a constant learning process going on. So I love it. Blake says, sounds love. <laughs> lots of love, lots of love. And I said, start right there. Not for LOL. Still longest. <laughs> Still longest. Yep. And I got new stuff uh, always on the way for us to the test. Uh, so each week you'll have some new stuff to showcase. Exactly. I love it. I can't complain. I think it's amazing getting to try out new things all the time and uh, share those experiences with you guys. Clown, 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 love. Clown, 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 clown. <laughs> Just because. For those of you who are popping in too, if you didn't know, today is actual National Just Because Day. So if you want to try something new today or try a new food or order something on Amazon, like this Pull Cow Garden Tool Organizer, you should do it just because it's Just Because Day. It's a day to celebrate. And with this organizer, you're gonna get a lot of utility out of it, as well as be able to organize. So you're gonna use your tools more and it'll be a lot of fun. And so on that note, I hope everyone has a most wonderful Saturday. I appreciate you guys so, so much. I look forward to seeing you guys on Wednesday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, but please make sure you hit that follow so you don't miss out on tomorrow's stream. Not Lots of fun announcements as well as a giveaway that's tomorrow on top of the gaming PC giveaway that's coming up. As and the Nintendo Switch. So make sure you guys follow. I will see you guys next time. Have a fabulous Saturday.